The boot camp is starting at February 20th, the eight week asset building boot camp. You're going to have five to seven assets, real assets. Okay. And they're going to be fully monetized. It's an eight week boot camp. And we're going to be monetizing your assets. These are going to be like apps directories, different tools, different AI apps, and all of this extra stuff. You're going to have all of that. You're going to be an owner because in order to be a business owner, you have to own a business. You need to own assets. That's what this is about on this channel. Okay. So that's coming up February 20th. We are launching the uh, uh, the Asset Empire Bootcamp. Okay. And the actual lives will start on March 20th. Uh, ooh, I'm tripping. March 1st. Okay. So the bootcamp launches at February 20th, but we're starting to go live twice per week for eight weeks straight, building out our assets and monetizing them five to seven. You will be the owner of these. You're going to fill them up with users using our tools, our know-how and our connections and everything, guys. So it's going to be extremely powerful. Lord willing, you guys can be there to witness it. Ah, okay. So I'm going to share with you guys a video that I was talking about. You can use this formula, okay, for your AI automation agency. Now, I'm not trying to throw you off or anything like that. I'm just giving you guys an opportunity to show you that, you know, you need to go with the times. A lot of you guys are still DMing people and saying, hey, I can do your marketing for you, or I can do <laughs> your SEO for you and all of that. That stuff is cool, but, but man, listen. We're at the age where, where, listen, you can include that stuff as like a cherry on top type situation, but that should not be your main offer anymore. It's definitely not. I'm an SEO genius, but that's not even my main offer anymore. So watch this video. Do not leave. Take notes. OK, and I will give you guys this video and you can copy it and uh, use it for your agency. All right, man, we're going to take your highest months of profits and we're going to triple them in less than 57 days guaranteed or everything is free for an entire year. Now you probably think I cold called you, but you would be wrong. I have assets to do that. Take a look at the screen. All right, see, we didn't cold call you. Take a look. This is how we reached out to thousands of y'all voicemails right here with my software that I spent thousands building. You probably think I sent you a text message, but you would be wrong again. Take a look at the screen. All right, so if you thought I text you, it was actually this. We upload thousands of numbers at the same time, the same way we would do it for your client, and then we just send that blast out all in one day, generating a crap load of responses, booking a whole crap load of appointments on automation, follow up, and all of that. This is the magic of owning your own assets. Now, you definitely probably, I think I sent you a DM on Instagram or Facebook telling you I wanted to do marketing or I could triple your revenue. But that wasn't me either. We use these assets as well as what I'm going to show you next to bring you all of those profit boosts that we promise you. All right, so don't mistake yourself. Don't get it wrong. I am not some dude reaching out to you to do your marketing. This is called profit positioning. Yes, what it involves is pure domination. If you know anything about the game of Monopoly, the more places you land or the more places you own on a board, the more profit you make. So this is profit positioning. We're about all domination. You take a look at the screen. We're about taking every single piece on the board so that no matter where a person lands, you're going to be profitable. All right. So another thing that makes us different over here at profit positioning is the fact that we position you for profit, but we take everything off the Monopoly board except you. Okay, so this is Ms. Monopoly. All right, there are 13 spots on the first page of Google. If you are in real estate or know anything about real estate, you understand that in the strip mall, there can be one owner that owns that land, but there are multiple different properties that they can make money from. So on the first page of Google, there are approximately, counting maybe the ads, 13 spots on the first page of Google. So for, let's say you're trying to get seller leads or seller appointments, sell my house plus city, that's where you would take all 13 spots on the first page of Google, meaning no competitor could get any of your leads because when the person types that in, you will be the only one they see. All right? 
if you're trying to get buyer sale, uh, buyer leads, okay? Homes for sale plus city. That is something that a buyer lead would type in. You would be in all 13 spots. Nobody else would be able to get leads but you. All right, for your profession. So if you're a realtor or a wholesaler or a construction company, the 13 spots on the first page of Google would be taken up all by you. All right, now this is something different that we do as well, Com competition name. All right, whoever your top three competitors are, we will make your name, your phone number, your company contact details show up whenever customers or potential clients search your competitor's name. That's extremely powerful that nobody else does. All right, so you're essentially hijacking their regular customers when they search for them by name with their wallets out already. And last but not least, part of niche monopoly is the bilingual takeover. So there are people that speak different languages, but they are searching for what you do for a living and they need help. But you are missing out on those leads. This is something that could triple your sales overnight. We position you so where you show up in different languages, the dominant different languages in, in your area, whether that's Spanish, French, Chinese, whatever, you will show up in Google in your area for those different languages and if you have somebody on staff that speaks different languages you kill it and you master it you slay it that's niche monopoly all right so the last thing that makes us different from anybody you ever come across of is one of our major assets called the alpha job affiliate army so if you know anything about business the billionaires all of that you know the power of leverage you minimize your risk and you get all the reward, okay? So having your own affiliate army, affiliates are people that spend their own money to bring you sales just in case you don't know. So you can cancel out your own ad budget if you was using that, okay? So we have a team of affiliates that generate sales. So you might have a marketing guy already, a marketing guy. We have teams that will be dedicated to you specifically. You have your own army generating you sales, contracts, appointments, leads, all of those things. This all is right. Apple Job Affiliate Army, our affiliate network, where we have thousands of affiliates that will be using their entire budgets to generate sales and appointments and bookings for your company out of all their things. Company. All right, another benefit of having your own affiliate army like we do is they use their own add budget so it's no risk this is what I'm talking about once you're a member of the Alpha job community our affiliates use their own ad budgets their own expertise taught by us to generate you sales and last but not least it forces brand domination brand recognition in your local area or nationally if you're trying to do that thing because you will have this team of people throwing out ads with your logo and your branding on a daily basis consistently 24 hours and that's how we can guarantee that your sales your revenue your profits triples in less than 57 days guaranteed or it's free go ahead and make a move and we can finance it look at the link in the description let's get started boom yeah so uh <laughs> What y'all think about that, man? We was killing it during the scandemic. As y'all can see, I was in Mexico at that time. You understand? Uh, but yeah, man, like I had my wife recording that. So it's not very uh, professional, but it doesn't matter because our offers are unique. And this is why we have market monopolies. This is why we have offers like what you see over here and people actually paid them. All right. And this is what I want for you guys. So if you position yourself in, uh, uniquely to where people have to go to you for something specific and you're not a, 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 a um, something that they can just get on every street corner, something that they can just pick up at Walmart or, 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 or Walgreens or something like that. This is why we have offers like this and people can actually pay them because there's nobody else with a market monopoly that can legally do the market monopoly because we have taken that spot right there. And uh, so, so I want you guys to stand out. And right now, one of the things that you can offer, like I was trying to tell you, is an AI agency. You understand what I'm saying? You can literally go to these local businesses and you can take out the tedious tasks that they're doing. Do you know how much paperwork law firms have to deal with? 
doctors, dentists have to deal with. You know how many customer service reps and stuff that can be like like automated. Like th th these things can be taken away and save them thousands of dollars per month you understand so you don't even have to go to them promising them more customers or, or or more you know uh seo rankings or nothing like that you literally can take away the expenses that that don't need to be there okay so tuesday Watkins said can this be for any niche of the market or is this just for real estate well we do profit positioning for any niche you understand but this is not me trying to sell it i'm trying to teach you guys to offer something unique i was just giving you guys an example of our offer showing you how you can mold your offer into something similar to be unique while everybody else was just promoting seo or social media marketing we were uh, promoting profit positioning complete domination of entire markets locally and stuff like that okay so you want to be different set yourself apart okay um no thanks 2023 said there is a lot of information to unpack here yes sir <laughs> yes sir all right so uh some of you guys are new here so i'm gonna show you some of uh well a couple of the assets that we use to do like mass outreach and everything then there's a couple other tools that we're working on we're still building our own instagram tool uh right now we had it and it was a different one but now we're building our own okay that other one was just like one that we use but now we're building our own but it's pretty much going to work the same way so i'm going to show you guys those tools and stuff because when the boot camp comes up is not a such thing it's no such thing as if you build it they will come and that's where a lot of you guys have been tricked a lot of you guys might have businesses already or websites already and you see these wix commercials you see these uh <laughs> wordpress commercials and all of that and they make it seem like oh you build your funnel or you build your website and you're gonna start getting traffic and sales and all of that bs but that's not true it's not true y'all you have to harness traffic because the the formula is traffic plus irresistible offer equals money okay i don't know how many of you guys were here the other day when we were using chat gpt we were using chat gpt to uh create uh, uh, uh a theme park product i don't know if you guys were here but put a one in the chat or put a hashtag yes low it in the comments if you were here here when we did the theme park product presentation come on 24 y'all on here let me get some yes laws in the comments man all right uh he said i pray everyone watching and listening here becomes rich this year the world needs you no cap hey okay uh self-made what's going on man all right brandon said where is the download the download the web bro uh all right yeah so basically what chat gpt can handle for you is the research you understand like a lot of people have a, a, a research specialist in their company okay or you might hire a va to do research and development okay but you don't even really need to pay for that anymore this is what i'm saying you <laughs> that's light work that is light work okay uh i give you one of my main right there boom there y'all go there y'all go okay so just know y'all i'm not telling you to i'm not like telling you to go and do exactly what i did i'm telling you to like use it as a one of those sketch stencils type situations look at what i did man okay so during the scamdemic everything was going down so you want to use the viral formula that it usually works on youtube too if you want to go viral is time is audience like topical audience timing and uniqueness topical audience timing and uniqueness so topic it needs to be relevant it needs to be a passionate audience about it just like right now we're talking about ai is a whole cult type situation so we got the timing situation down all right we got the audience the timing uh then we got the uniqueness right 
Okay, so the reason we're unique over here is because we're not just using ChatGPT to create articles or 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 do that. We're using ChatGPT to help us build out assets and actual business models and all of that extra stuff. You understand? Because it is much more than an article writer. All right. Um, Brandon says, so what are the questions you're asking ChatGPT to de design stuff like this? What do you mean? Like the market monopoly? Is that what you mean? Because uh, I had that way before ChatGPT. Uh, but ChatGPT, you can leverage it to go deep into stuff like this. And I'll show you that in a minute if that's what you ask me. Okay. Char Z said, how would you suggest a beginner to use ChatGPT to earn the most money in the quickest way possible? Well, let's go over to ChatGPT now. It might not even be working, but you know how it does. Let's see. Okay, well, the the first thing you want to do is not ask ChatGPT how to make some money, because <laughs> it's not really gonna do too much for you. Y'all know what's funny, man? Like, listen, over here, some of you guys have the little upgrade button where you can upgrade, but I don't have it, man. I don't know why the heck. Like, some the some of the accounts are different from others. Maybe it's because I'm on Mac. Maybe it's a Windows thing. I don't know what what's going on. But it does not have the upgrade button for me. Uh, but I definitely want to get the paid version. OK, I wouldn't suggest you getting the paid version if you're just dibbly daddling. OK, uh, Brandon said I'm talking about coding. OK, well, you just have to be specific. What I like to do, I'll give you an example, um, is our Google. Let's see. Uh, OK, scraper to OK. Subscriber, so give me the uh, let's see, HTML code for a uh, website, a web scraper tool, a simple web scraper tool. Okay, then we're gonna get to the meat and potatoes of this stuff right here. So, but as you can see, here it is. It's a simple web scraper tool. What I recommend, guys, you can get some code, free coding off of GitHub. You can get the bare bones off of GitHub of some of these tools that you guys know that are that's already popular and famous. And you can bring it over here and you can tell ChatGPT to build on top of it. Like if you see another tool that you like out there, you can tell ChatGPT Hey, I, here's the code for this simple scraping tool right here. But can you add um, uh, another uh, feature to it that will automatically redirect the page? OK, uh, let's see. Add a uh, redirect code to the code above. Boom. Let's see what it does. All right. To add a redirect code to the previous HTML, you can use this JavaScript, blah, blah, blah. Boom. See, now it's doing it. You just have to know what you want to ask. Listen, guys, I know it's a site, but the whole point of it is to emulate intelligence. So if it emulates intelligence, that means it's trying to be like a person, right? Well, guess what? Just talk to it like a person. A lot of people ask me, well, how do I ask it the same way that you would ask a person? I guarantee you, you have no problem asking people for what you want. OK, well, talk to chat. GP is not a person yet, but talk to it like a person. That's how it's being built out. It will perform the best when you talk to it like a person. OK, um, short Z asks, what digital assets do you mean exactly? Are you referring to what we'll be creating in a boot camp? Is that what you mean? Let me know. Let me know if that's what you're talking about. Is that the kind of digital assets you mean, like ebooks published to Amazon KDP? You can do that, but no, that's not what I'm talking about. All right. Uh, it's 31 people on here. I want to help all of you guys specifically. 
get traffic and sales to your assets that you're currently working on right now while giving you recommendations on different assets to go with it so that you can monetize it heavily quickly without risk okay so make sure you guys stay on here we're gonna go i'm gonna pull from the crowd brandon is very active short z is very active i want everybody on here to be active so that i can pull from the crowd and help you guys uh um personally generate traffic to yours i don't mind helping you guys get traffic and everything i don't have to charge for nothing like that only thing i would charge for is if i was going to do it for you okay so i'm not one of those channels or one of those people you're going to come to where they won't tell you stuff unless you buy something that's not me guys okay so hey if you got something that you're working on right now and you want traffic and sales to it and you have no idea where to start y'all this is the time to put it in the comments i've been here since 2015 at technically the end of 2014 if you want to get technical 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 right but i've been doing this for a long time one of the first people to teach this seo stuff on the platform one of the first people to teach cpa marketing on a platform you can go all the way back on my channel so this is no luck and we still heard baby started from the bottom now we here now okay so char z says is there any way to just do it for something i mean uh just it for something to do with C <laughs> cpa affiliate offers or no yes it is char z he said i doubt it could actually get cpa uh affiliate signups okay all right you see the user face of it right so it's not it's not something that's gonna go out and do anything it produces for you okay meaning it can produce content it can produce coding it can produce tools it can produce ideas for you to use to go out and do it yourself you still have to do something is nothing you're going to be able to well let me stop lying <laughs> i'm going to show you something i'm going to show you something in a minute guys it is something that can get those cpa affiliate offers done yeah y'all remember all of the stuff back in the day when somebody say man there's no se secret button that you can push that will allow you to make money you know what i'm saying <laughs> there's no button you can't just sit back and push a button and make money well that's not technically true anymore and the video that i'm going to show you in a, in a few seconds is definitely a button that you can push is a couple tools that we use where we push buttons and that's how some of you guys are here right now that's how some of you guys have become students that's how some of you guys on here have become clients already okay because it is a few buttons that you can push okay so uh give me a second y'all and i'm gonna show you that video so y'all are definitely gonna want to stick around because you can plug this these systems and automations and tools into your businesses fire the humans no offense but fire the humans that are not really serving a major purpose and then only keep the humans that like they you need them like it has to be like technology haven't caught up for the tasks that they have to do but stuff like sending emails scraping emails uh uh reaching out to people uh creating videos and all of that extra stuff there are tools and ai and chat gbt and all of this stuff i heard pictori that can do all of that stuff uh <laughs> yes sir no thanks says uh, a wise man once said there's no cash in without action and that is bars right there he is telling the truth all right yes chat B chat gpt is for leverage guys it's not gonna do it for you but it can make you look like a superman you understand what i'm saying it can make you look like a genius but you have to have some type of base knowledge at least or it will make you look like a fool okay all right so um brandon says i have an idea i am working on a lot of different things at once how the heck can you help or uh funds to hire uh hire folks how, oh, how can you get help or funds to hire folks and this is this is a good point brandon this is another reason why things like chat gpt is so powerful guys 
Because if you are a person that do not have the budget to hire people, actual humans in the first place, then chat GPT and is perfect. Because what do you do when you go on Craigslist or you go on online jobs, PH or something like that, and you hire these uh, Filipino virtual assistants and stuff? What do you do? You're giving them the same task that ChatGPT can do for you. This right here, you're telling them to write me an SEO article about how, uh, hold on, 10 ways to make money with cpa affiliate offers okay uh write it with a uh dark uh sense of humor include references to uh dramatic events that happened in history uh include uh references to famous uh celebrities also include average income earning predictions for people that do cpa affiliate marketing affiliate damn i'm spelling it wrong come on affiliate marketing i ain't got no glasses right boom then you just press that ah error occurred let me refresh the page sometimes you got to refresh it if it's sitting there too long or if it locks you out a little bit <laughs> boom now let's try to get that as you can see it is creating a an extremely unique piece of content you understand what i'm talking about which you can try to rank for the keyword uh how to make money with cpa marketing you understand what i'm saying you can go deeper into detail with this you can tell chat BT, gpt to do whatever the hell you wanted to do so when you guys are talking to chat gpt if you don't want it to give you use content or pull from content that's already out there on the web then you got to get extremely detailed and specific with how you wanted to give you the content you understand i told it to give me celebrities i told it to reference uh, uh uh like historical events dramatic historical events i told it to be uh use dark humor and everything like that come on y'all like this is how you do it this is mastery right here you have to know how to pull from chat gpt you understand what i'm talking about brandon says so last question for you right now how many words does it take to get uh the full 10 minute video and pictori uh want to break it down into uh segments for shorts um i don't know exactly how many words it's gonna take but the good thing about chat gpt is you can always just type in here make it longer or or create a part two out of this you you just have to know what to to ask chat gpt so basically when uh, like this right here is an article it turned this into an article but watch this this is how you create uh, uh multiple pieces of media and content out of uh one thing one to one request from chat gpt watch this uh use the above article to create a video script oh snappage let's see what it comes up with oh snap isn't this powerful isn't this beautiful so yes chat gpt can do some awesome things guys but this is not your business itself you're using it for the business that you're already building chat gpt belongs to the owner of chat gpt quit getting it twisted so don't think that chat gpt itself is making you money what you're pulling from chat gpt combined with your own actions and resources that is what is making you money so you can't be a bum or, or, or a person that don't know anything at all and have no type of talent or no type of skill and think that you're going to become some type of billionaire a millionaire just because chat gpt wrote you a few articles or songs or something like that okay leverage it 
to become greater than you already are because you're already great if you have assets if you have some type of talent or you have some type of uh, uh business model that you're already working on you understand what i'm saying use it the same way that you have employees does an employee make you no you were the owner before you hired that employees so so it's the same thing with chat gpt why people think just because chat gpt came out now the world is is, is no the world was here before chat gpt so you leverage it the same way you leverage an employee so if you had no idea what you were doing to make money online before chat gpt then that's the problem chat gpt is supposed supposed to help you it's supposed to elevate what you're already on what you're already on y'all y'all understand that what you're already on okay so check this out we got uh dan z he said, do you think Udemy courses made with the help of GTP GPT can be just as written course or is it always better to be a video? I mean, well, I, I haven't really seen any just written courses on Udemy. Uh, it, it would have to be video, right? I, I never seen just a written course on Udemy. Maybe I'm wrong or something. Uh, but yes, this is 2023, man. 2023 brother okay you understand our sister i don't know i don't know that's danzy um yeah you're not really getting by without video <laughs> every single platform that you know of right now is is incorporating video that's priority any like text heavy websites images or any of that extra stuff people don't want to read no more man they want to be read too they want to listen. They want to kick back and be entertained like they're all kings and queens. This is the age of entitled brats. No offense, but it's the truth. So, yes, video. Video is what wins. You understand what I'm talking about? So you're going to need video courses. So Pictori, Pictori, it can help you with the videos. OK, now you might still need to do uh if you're trying to go on udemy and everything you might still need to do the voiceover or whatever but pictori can still you can take the script and you can plug it into pictori and it will just automatically get you the b-roll and the background music and create the scenes and all of that and you can just read the uh, voiceover or whatever if you want to okay and that's how you can you know create some decent courses or whatever and then you want to run it by an expert Maybe you can find an expert in that field on Facebook or somebody and ask them to look over it, make sure it's not a piece of crap course. If they give you a seal of approval, cool, then you upload it. If they don't, then go back to the drawing board with markers. Okay. <laughs> you are welcome, Danzy. All right. Uh, there's no cash in without action, guys. All right. So now. Yeah, so I, now you guys, you see, it can create code, it can create article. You've seen that on every channel. That's not what I'm about over here. Over here, we're talking about building. We're talking about building platforms. Okay, so we're going to go over something real quick. Give me a second. Let me go get it. Let me go get it for you. Uh, okay. Okay, guys, I'm going to put this in the chat. Well, no, nah, I'm not going to put it in the chat. I'm going to put it in chat GPT. Let me refresh the page for the one time. Let me let me refresh the page. We're going to put that in here. And these are the assets we will be building and monetize in the, uh, the boot camp that starts on the 20th. Okay, so. I didn't even ask it to do all of this extra stuff right here. But <laughs> anyway, so technically, we're not going to build them. They're going to be built for you. You're going to get a chance to meet developers and all of that extra stuff, people that actually own assets that are monetized and everything. You're going to see some of my assets that you've never seen before that are monetized. And you're going to see some of my newer ones. We're going to be we're going to be monetizing our assets together, growing them together, filling them up with users together for passive income for a lifetime. So you can pass them down to your children's children's children so they can read on the side of the building um, in business since 1804. No, I'm just playing. OK. All right. So 
All right, niche directories. All right. So look at this, man. It broke it down, but I didn't even ask it to, and it's still doing this. <laughs> so the reason why niche directories are so profitable, guys, and if you don't know what a niche directory is, watch this. Give me, let's just say, give examples of most famous directories. Uh, I'd say business directories. Let's say business directories. Okay. Let's see what ChatGPT can come up with. Sure. Here are some of the most famous ones. Oh, snap. So are the business models that I'm teaching you actually proven? Yelp. Yelp. We got Google My Business. We got Yellow Pages. We got Angie's List. Oh, snappage. We also have TripAdvisor. We got like Zillow and, and, and look, well, Foursquare sucks, but you guys get it. LinkedIn. These are business directories, niche directories, Better Business Bureau. Okay, so check this out, guys. Check this out. Ah, let me breathe in the fresh air of success that I can smell coming from this audience that's on here. Okay, so <laughs> no thanks says this is epic time. Uh, this is an epic time. We all got to catch this wave. Yes. Now, check this out, man. The Internet was built and the ones that caught it first, they figured something out. It's about platforms. I watched the movie Bezos the other day. It was about Jeff Bezos. And when the internet, when he first caught with for the internet, it was growing at 2,500%. Okay. And it's not growing that fast anymore. It already didn't pretty much did its thing. Right. But that doesn't mean you still can't catch, catch some of it. Okay. And what I mean by that is those that build platforms on top of the internet, platforms, mediums, connectors of parties, multiple parties. That means you're sat you're satisfying multiple parties that need something from each other. You're giving them a place to conduct business and reach a satisfactory result. You understand what I'm saying? And this ensures the success of this business model. Why? It's because Yelp is not just a typical website. It satisfies a customer that is looking for a good business with good reviews and all of that so they can go there and buy or dine or whatever. And then it also satisfies the business owner it themselves that is looking for more customers. So it provides for both parties and then it satisfies itself because then they get a crazy amount of ad revenue from the visitors on a site on top of that they charge per lead or per call or something like that when a person is uh, uh um you know contacted through yelp or whatever and you can buy yelp ads on a platform platform you understand what i'm saying so it's just so much monetization in there now am i telling you to compete with them am i saying that in this boot camp guys that you will be big as yelp that's up to you i'm not saying that i'm not even big as yelp i'm saying that you will have modest earnings you will have passive income you will be able to have an asset we can fill it up with users and it can take you off your damn job at least how about that and imagine that being multiplied OK, you got five or seven of these assets that have, uh, you know, a couple hundred to a thousand something users on the platform. All of them are doing transactions, interacting with each other. And there's money being passed around on these assets, money being made through ads and all of this extra stuff. OK, and this is just one. This is your niche directory. So I want you to think about that. So next we're going to talk about. Oh, and just in case you want to know, let's see. Uh, what is the net worth? And I remember they don't really have that much up to date data. They only go to 2021, but let's see, what is the net worth of, uh, Yelp in 2021? We'll just do that one since that's all the information they got. Okay. Yes, it was. Yeah. See, this is why Google is still needed. OK, <laughs> but they say it's about uh, five billion. That's not true. It's more than that. But that's still awesome. It's nothing but a platform. You can clone out of Yelp, guys. It's, it's easy to just clone these these apps, these websites, these directories, these websites and stuff. What's not easy is getting people on them, 
getting them to interact, getting them, getting traffic to them and getting them to rank and doing all this extra stuff. And that's where we come in, in the boot camp. Okay. But just knowing that you don't even need a lot of users, just imagine you being the Yelp of your city. You don't have to be the Yelp of the United States or the world. You can be the Yelp of your town. And that's a, do you know how many businesses are in your town? Huh? Do you know how many businesses are in your dang old town? Exactly. It's crazy amounts of businesses in your town. So that's a crazy amount of activity on your little directory site. Okay. So then we got niche social network. Okay. So we were talking about social networks. Let's see. What was the question? Okay. Well, we already know. Give me some examples of niche social networks. Boom. Here are some examples of niche social networks. We got Meetup right there. Have you guys ever heard of Meetup? If you are a marketer or an agency for marketing or something, then I'm pretty sure you heard of Meetup. But we got Ravelry. We got Goodreads. We got Nextdoor. I'm pretty sure you heard of Nextdoor. DeviantArt. Okay. So check this out, guys. Why do you want to build a niche social network? You don't want to build like a, a Facebook. You understand? You don't want to build something like that. You you want to build like a LinkedIn, okay? <laughs> Why? Because it's be it's very specific, and when you make it very specific, it's worth way more uh, uh, to to people. It's worth more to your audience. It's worth more to investors because they have like this cesspool of uh, 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 of targeted uh, prospects and stuff like that. Okay. For example, LinkedIn, that's for businesses. So it's very easy for people like me and you and marketing agencies. We know exactly where to go to find the actual business owners. We just need to go on LinkedIn. So it's extremely powerful. And I'll give you, let's do a uh, network of link. Cause that's a social media network. Uh, how do you spell it? LinkedIn and 2021 and let's see what it comes up with guys yo yo nephew for real what's up okay what's going on what's going on what's going on so as y'all can see man it's typing it out it know what it's talking about it said the data it concludes that it is around 38.2 billy boys okay so once again disclaimer you understand what I'm saying? Because you're not going to be a blamer. Disclaimer. I'm not saying that you're going to be rich. You understand? I'm not saying that you're going to get rich off of the boot camp. But what I am saying at the end of this boot camp, you're going to have five to seven monetized assets that will be able to replace whatever you're earning at a freaking nine to five, unless you work at some dang on like freaking uh a family that prays corporate <laughs> job where you're making five hundred thousand dollars um a year or some crap like that you understand so it, it, but even if you were working there and all of that that doesn't have any upside they're not going to leave that company to you you don't own it and you still have to get permission for everything but when you own your assets you decide how far or, or, or how much you want to scale them up how much you want to make from them okay so th this is why i'm showing you guys this so even if you don't get in the boot camp guys i want you to take this video and i want you to model this if you want to go out and try to figure out how to clone each of these yourself do that and if <laughs> it's gonna it's muy difficile meaning very difficult to fill these assets up though okay and get traffic to them okay so check this out <clears throat> another reason why this is so powerful we're gonna see this give me some example of some website builders give me i'm pretty sure you guys heard of this uh examples of popular website builders okay here are some examples of popular website builders wix baby wix baby wix baby a a a wix baby wordpress check this out man we got squarespace on here 
Yes, Lord. We got Square pay, Space. We got Weebly. Y'all done seen me. I build some of my stuff on Weebly. You understand? <laughs> and I've been doing that since the beginning, right? And you got Shopify. Stop trying to be the drop shipper and own the drop shipping platform. That's Shopify, baby. You understand? Now, let me tell you why this stuff is so important, right? Okay. Uh, uh, we're going to get, give me the net worth of Wix. Weebly, Shopify, and WordPress. Let's do it, man. Do what I say, Chat GPT. Don't disobey me. Don't take all day, Chat GPT. Come on. All right. So, Wix, publicly traded company, the net worth is eight point seven Billy Boys. Okay. So you're gonna see why I'm. I'm talking about this. We can clone website building platforms. You can own a platform like a Wix, a Weebly, a WordPress where people can go to build their own websites on. And I'm going to tell you exactly why that is one of the most perfect assets to own. I'm giving you guys everything, y'all. And the boot camp ain't even started. So check this out. Jim Knopp said, uh, did I say your last name right? Uh, he said, how do we sign up for the boot camp? The boot camp. Jim, the course part of the boot camp will be launched on February 20th, and then we go live March 1st. So we're going to start some type of countdown situation where you guys can like, you know, pretty much know it's coming up. I would strongly suggest you put the pennies of that. Put your pennies aside, baby. I understand. Cancel any uh, dates that you plan on tricking off on any of these dot dots. OK, cancel some of those right now. You understand? Uh, save save the cake up. You understand? Because you don't want to miss this. There's nobody out there. I've already looked, trust me, that will be showing you guys how to build five to seven assets and monetize them. And this is going to be long term, meaning we're going to be connected forever. Lord willing that, you know, ho hopefully you guys like me enough that you don't mind having me around for a while because I'm going to make sure you guys uh, uh, never feel alone in your journey with your assets so that you can pass them down. The Bible says that a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. You are supposed to pass something down and you cannot do that if you're just making money for yourself. You have to own assets. OK, uh, A20 says, can chat GPT do the market research? Yes, Lord. If you just came on here, guys, the replay will be up. We just went over that. The chat GPT. Yes, that's definitely R&D research and development major right there. You can cancel the virtual assistants. You can fire the employees that just do that type of stuff. OK, so we got Marcus. He say peace and prosperity late to the party. But I'm here. Hey, as long as you here, man, as long as you here. OK, so why? Why, guys? Why am I going to have you guys owning your own website builder platforms? Why? When is already some out there? OK, remember, I was telling you guys the other day uh, about the theme park products, OK, where you want to just charge like a low ticket to get into your theme park, theme park, meaning your your business, basically. OK, so let's say you have an agency like a marketing agency. OK, if you instead instead of approaching these businesses, talking about, hey, I'm going to do your marketing for you. I'm going to send you leads. I'm going to do all of this extra stuff like that. Get them into your theme park. Don't charge them the, you know, uh, I'm not trying to be a hypocrite because I know you guys see that I have like $100,000 offers on my site and stuff, but I'm not new, guys. I'm not new. I've been doing this a long time, okay? So my point is this. Get them into your theme park first. So if you approach them with A, we're going to give you a free new website on our new platform, and it's going to come with a domain. Now, all right, so a few people, including Andrew Tate, said something wise. Andrew Tate said it uh, a, a better way that people can comprehend. He said, hop in, he said, find money that's already moving and then jump in and stand in front of it. <laughs> if you want to get rich, find money that's already moving and then stand in front of it. Now, what does that have to do with these guys? Check this out. A drop shipper was going to be drop shipping way before drop I mean, uh, Shopify came out. 
They was doing it on eBay. They was doing it on Alibaba. They was doing it on all of these sites and stuff. So this person that built Shopify was like, okay, hold on. Check this out. They just need a specific place for drop shippers. So instead of being a drop shipper, they created the drop shipping platform. So they jumped, they, they found money that was moving. Meaning these, if you go and look at all these YouTube channels on drop shipping, these dudes are spending five, ten thousand dollars a week uh running ads to their drop shipping uh um websites and all of that crap like that, and Amazon products and all of that. So Shopify is like, damn, that's money right there. If I just created a little hub, a little platform for them to come, I can get a piece of all of their transactions. So just by creating a platform, a niche, a niche, a niche website builder <laughs> and payment processor slash payment processor, Shopify now gets a piece of every single sale of every single drop shipper out there. Instead of just being a drop shipper that gets his own sales, he gets whoever owns Shopify gets a piece of every drop shipper sales out there. Do y'all understand how powerful it is? You find money that's already moving and then you just stand in front of it. <laughs> that's how the, the simplest way you can put it. And, and Andrew Tate said that. And I was like, yo, that was cold right there. That, that was cold. The, the, uh, who was that? Albert Einstein. Uh, somebody said, the geniuses are not the ones that make everything sound all complex. The genius is the person that can take something that's complex and make it sound super simple. That is awesome right there. So when, when Andrew Tate said, now I'm not trying to uphold a guy or whatever, uh, but when he said just find money that's already moving and stepping in front of it, it just became so simple. When you look at it like that, <laughs> <laughs> tell me it's not so simple. Please tell me in a chat that it's not so simple. If, if Okay. All right. Watch this. I'll give you guys some examples. We're going to name some, some people, some, some, uh, some like some entrepreneurs that will be going out the money, whether or not, uh, you help them or not. That means they're moving. That means there's money moving because they're spending money on their their stuff, whether or not you know them or not. See, the problem is we try to think of the business model. We try to be creative and just magically come up with business ideas. You understand what I'm saying? But there's money out there already moving. I'll give you an example. There are art galleries because there are artists that want to sell their art. They wanted to do that anyway. These artists have been doing this for thousands of years, running around trying to figure out how to sell their art. So there's money that's already moving, meaning you don't have to convince them to try to go out there and promote themselves. If you go look on their Instagrams, they're already promoting themselves without you telling them to. So that's money that's already moving. So if you created an online gallery or something like that for locally and you just emailed them and said, hey, Artists, 70% uh, of artists that uh, put their art on this new platform have in, in, uh, experienced a uh, 35% uh, increase. People like percentages for some reason. <laughs> it feels like it's scientifically proven, proven right? Okay, so they're going to go and put their art on their site, on your site, and then they're going to link uh, uh, that the link that they get from your site and their, all their social medias. And when people purchase the art from your website, then you're going to get a piece of all of the transactions from that artist. So you're taking a ride. You're hitching a ride. It's leech sales. It's called leech marketing, parasite marketing. You understand? You're hitching a ride on money that was already going to go out whether or not you had uh, a chance with them or not. Same thing with rappers. Spotify. Spotify knew that we hated I say we like I still do music, but we hate record labels. We hate the record deals. And they understood that even though we hate that crap, people out there on the streets risking their life selling drugs to get their music out. They out there on the corners passing out demos, selling it out their trunk, doing a masterpiece style. You understand what I'm saying? Like people out there promote. You don't have to tell a person to promote their music. They packing up their trucks and going on the road doing shows and spending money, staying, sleeping in the car and doing all this stuff. People spending money. 
you understand, for their music and their passions. So that is money that is already moving. So when you build a platform like a Spotify, you just put that right in front of those artists. <laughs> you just, I'm going to, I'm going to just sit this right here. I'm just, gonna, you know, leave that right there. Right. So <laughs> you do that. They, they're going to eat it up. Oh, man, it, because they need as many places to get visibility and exposure to their albums, their new song releases and streams and all of this extra stuff like that. Do y'all see how simple it is now? Huh? <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Nephew said this man is Prometheus. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, hold on. <laughs> I don't know about that. I, I know that's a compliment, I think, right? <laughs> okay, Raphael said the definition of genius is taking the complex and making it simple. Albert Einstein, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, man. That's what I'm saying. Yes, parasite marketing. Look at it like that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, no thanks says parasite. He put that in the in the chat. Let everybody know that is one of the easiest ways to make a killing. You find money that's already moving without you. It's already moving no matter what. People think things are uh things, everything revolves around them. You know what I'm saying? Money just ain't going to, if you ain't doing that, money ain't there. No, you don't have to do something for money to be there. Money is going by you no matter what. You can walk past the ATM and it's, it's either more money in it or less money in it since the last time you walked in. Money is moving by itself. Same thing with the vending machines. Same thing with the uh, uh, freaking uh, 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 washing uh, uh, machines at the laundromat. Like money is moving with or without you. So all you do is you find money that is already moving and you stand in front of it. And one way that you can do that, one of the best ways that you can do that, guys, is with platforms. Provide them a place that doesn't feel like uh, it's sales. It feels like it's an environment for them to thrive and grow upon. All right. This is why Facebook became so awesome. I hate Facebook, by the way, but it became so awesome to everybody because it provided them a platform to go on and voice themselves and be stupid. OK, <laughs> right. And YouTube provided a platform for people to come on there and get famous when they couldn't get in movies. Like it's, it's literally channels on YouTube where they have like movie level production and you don't never you don't have to go to Hollywood and get get. Um, violated i'll just say that pg-13 uh <laughs> you don't have to go to hollywood to get violated anymore you can literally start your own production team right up on youtube you can literally uh sell your own music right up on youtube youtube took something that knew they knew people wanted exposure and it was like let me make it easy for people to go viral same thing with tiktok when you upload something on tiktok your first video tell me i'm lying your first video on tiktok always gets the most views Super easy. You don't even have to use the right hashtags because they're trying to make it easy. They're trying to give you what you want early so that it becomes habitual for you to visit their website and stay on a platform because the longer you stay on a platform, the more money they make. You know. OK, so. um, Yeah. Yeah. OK. Uh, he giving me some back back uh, history on it. He said, yes, Prometheus stole the fire from the gods. And gave it to humanity in the form of technology. Whoa, yeah, I ain't know none of that. <laughs> hey, that's 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 a nice story though. Okay, um, champion of mankind. Ra Raphael says, kind of be the middleman. If there ain't no middle, create one. Yes, Lord. And it's a whole crap load of industries. I have like over six hundred different niches inside uh, one of my programs that I teach them to the drop service in. It's like. A crazy amount of niches, even though on YouTube, if you go to any of these marketing channels, they always telling you to go after realtors, go after chiropractors, dentists, lawyers, the same old, same old. I tell you to go after uh, uh, um, pool, uh, uh, pool resurfacing. I tell you to go after, uh, um, you know, things like scuba diving instructors, because those packages is like uh, I'm in mean, scuba diving certifications. Those packages are like twenty five hundred dollars and stuff. You understand? I tell you to go after stuff like, uh, uh, um, you know, helicopter uh, uh, pilot training and, and, and different things like that, guys, because this is high ticket and low competition. So you just have to be different, man. So no thanks. Say I get it now. Uh, don't reinvent the wheel. Yes, Lord. Exactly. Exactly. The Bible says 
Let all your ways be established. That means proven. Let all your ways be proven and tested. Okay. That way you ain't out there experimenting and jacking yourself up. You make sure it's proven that it works. And then you build on top of that to make it unique. Okay. Everybody wants, I'm the first black man to do this. Man, that sucks. That means I had to go through hell. I'm not trying to be the first black man, nothing. You understand? Like, <laughs> dude, all that pride stuff, the spirit of pride comes before the fall. Remember that. All right. And it's going to take you forever to reach success when you're sitting there trying to like, come on, man. No, no. All right. So Ben Jesse says, do you have to sign up for the boot camp or will it just be on YouTube? No, Jesse, the boot camp is paid. All of this that I'm doing right now, all of this stuff, when I go live on here, if you guys need uh, help with your businesses and all of that stuff, I do this stuff for free. But the boot camp, that is going to be paid. All right. And that one, that's an eight week boot camp intense. We're going to we're going to be having uh, five to seven assets that we're building out and they're going to be monetized. All right. Um, and we're going to be going live like for eight hours straight, two days a week. So it's very intense. I want to make sure at the end of this boot camp, you guys never have to fill out the application again in your life. I want to make sure you don't even know how to spell it anymore. We might cluck you upside the head till you get temporary amnesia. And then I'm going to reaffirm that you don't know how to spell the application. No, I'm just playing. But you get what I'm saying, right? So that, that's how intense this boot camp is going to be. Yes. Okay. Uh, all right. No, so yeah, no, it won't be on boot camp. It won't be on YouTube, Okay. But we will still be doing little, you know, doing what we do here. So if you guys show up here every night and you are active like you are now in the chat, you tell me your businesses that you're already working on and stuff, then I can help you. I can give you traffic. I can help you get traffic and sales. I have no problem with that. And I don't have to charge you for that. OK. All right. So whatever you're working on already, I can help you with that. OK. Um. But the boot camp is going to be off the chain. All right. So, oh, excuse me. So before we move on, let me tell you why this right here is perfect. OK, if you are the platform for businesses, for example, Wix, Weebly, WordPress, these type of companies, if you are the website builder that they come to build their website on, who has more data about these companies than you? Nobody who has more data about these businesses than you. So I'll give you I'll give you an example because it might not seem that powerful. I can't hear y'all through the screen. You understand? Well, y'all can hear me, but I can't hear y'all. <laughs> OK, so check this out. Listen, let's say that you've been trying <clears throat> desperately like you got a marketing agency and you've been trying desperately to get a plastic surgeon as a client. You want to charge that plastic surgeon uh, five to ten thousand dollars a month to do their SEO and their social media marketing. Yay. Terrific. Right. But you don't know how to get their real email. You can't get them on the phone. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You got all these gatekeepers and all of that extra bull crap. Right. When you go to them. When you go to them now. What I did was, and then I'm going to get back on track, right? I'm going to give you guys this. And don't tell nobody I gave y'all this. Okay. <laughs> okay. It ain't like y'all know, know, know the people I know. Okay. I'm going to show you guys a few things. I'm just going to give you a few of these that people actually go to on their own when they're starting business. So I was like, okay, if I want local businesses to come to me, because I'm all about positioning, if I want local businesses to come to me so I can stop selling to them and all that crap, then what should I position myself as? Okay, instead of positioning myself as an advertising agency, I can position myself as this. This is the Better Business Bureau. So when people Google Better Business Bureau in their city, local businesses sign up to the Better Business Bureau willingly because 
uh, Better Business Bureau gives them authority. If you get the stamp of approval from the Better, Better Business Bureau, then it says that your business is legit. You're not a scam. You get good reviews for your, from your customers and all of that. That's why when you go on these local business websites, you see the stamp from the Better, uh, Better Business Bureau on there. So if I position myself, created like some type of page on my site as like an alternative Better Business Bureau, and I ranked for the keyword Better Business Bureau, I literally brand jacked, right? Now businesses will come into me. Pause. You understand? They they come to me. You understand? So when they sign up with me and all of that, now I know what type of business they are. I know their desires and all of that extra stuff. So it's just about knowing your enemy. No, I'm just playing. It's just about knowing them, right? Okay. So let me give you another one. Okay. Another one that they don't have to be bribed to go to like they literally go to this on their own watch this uh jesus chat gpt man quit messing with me mo what's going on with your partner what's happening okay so we're gonna put this in here all right so i set it out for my company to start ranking for the chamber of commerces in the cities why? Because local businesses register there. They just go there. They don't feel no type of pressure of sales or something like that. They congregate with each other. They meet, they have these morning meetups and do all of this extra stuff. So I position, if I position to start ranking my sites for a chamber of commerce in each of these cities, now all of these cities start flooding to me. I mean, now all of these different type of businesses start flooding to me and I can start collecting data. Now, what does that mean, guys? Come on, man. Come on. They coming into your theme park, partner. What does that mean? You can monetize them super easy, man. Okay? You can monetize them super easy. Okay? Now, what I mean by that is, okay, I'll give you this. If a company registers with the Better Business Bureau and the Chamber of Commerce, chances are they're a new company. If they're a new company, chances are they might not have things. Oh, oh, things like what? They might not have a POS system, credit card readers, payment processors, that type of stuff. And what does that mean for you? What, what does that mean? How is that powerful? What, 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 David? Okay. See, your mind is still just thinking about the marketing. I want to get them as a marketing client. I didn't want, I see all these YouTube videos and I want them as a marketing client. Check that, man, come on, watch this. If you become their payment processor, you can get 50% of each of the transactions that go through that business for the long time. Okay, so you get a piece of every sale. And guess what? Is painless to them. If you approach them with marketing and all that stuff, all they're thinking about is how much they got to come out of their pocket. But if you just become their credit card reader and every time somebody swipes on the website in person or whatever, every time somebody makes an order over the phone, if, whether it's a restaurant or whatever, you get a piece of every last one. So that's that's phase one. You implement these painless things in order to monetize these businesses. Check this out. If they get a biz, if they get, a, if they put their business on your website, they have to pay for hosting in the dot com, don't they? Oh my, oh snap. Oh snap. You provide the platform, but they know that they need a dot com and they buy it from you. On top of that, now you are their payment processor, their credit card reader. Oh, snap. And you see all their deepest, darkest desires because they're posting on their website all of the highlights about themselves, meaning you know exactly what they really want to promote about themselves. And you have direct contact to them because they came to you and signed up. So you actually have their real email address, their real number versus if you had to found them some other way. Oh, snappage. You understand what I'm saying? Like, come on. All right. And we have all these other monetization methods. So this this is. <laughs> yes, Marcus. He said, Ching -ching. yes, Lord, man. Yes, Lord. Because listen. 
This is money that's already moving. They already want a business. They already started their business and they're going to get a website whether you give them a website or not. So you might as well be the website company, the website builder. Okay. And they're going to need a credit card. Ring. Come on. I need y'all to pay attention. I need you to like open up and let's use a little bit of common sense. What business doesn't accept payments? They have to accept payments. So if you can be the person that's like providing the payment processor for them, that's automatic money. And it's instant monetization. Instant money. You'd be like, oh, David, how, 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 y'all's real. How fast can I start making money? Well, check this out. If you contacted a, a restaurant right now and you offered them a free website because you know that they're spending money with GoDaddy and all of this extra bull crap, right? And in exchange, you're going to give them my perfect SEO game plan. On top of that, you're going to save them money from their credit card processor that they already currently have. Boom. You didn't ask them for anything up front, but if you pay attention, you just got money from them. You, when you offered them that free website, they still need the dot com. So you get money from that every month. Uh, okay. And when you offer them to save money on their credit card reader, their uh, POS system, <laughs> they can switch over to it for free. But every time a sale comes through, you get paid. That means, okay, all right, I need you to wrap your head around this. You some of you guys have connections already but let's say you don't even have connections but if you did like let's just let's say okay you have a person that you run into that owns five or seven different locations uh you know a freaking restaurant or something like that okay they switch over to your pos system credit card reader payment process and all that type of stuff right dude they were in business before you met them what does that mean? The moment that they switch their systems over to you, it, you don't even have to send it. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys when you're trying to sell marketing and all that crazy stuff. Okay, that's cool. But guess what? Leverage. We're all about leverage. Watch this. Watch this. When they switch their credit card readers over to you, the same day that they do, they open shop and customers start walking in, whether you refer those customers or whether they were just going to walk in anyway. And they might, you can tell them, hey, keep your marketer because the more people that come into that business, the better. Because guess what? The moment somebody orders a coffee, the moment somebody orders a Bigfoot Domino's piece, no, the, <laughs> the moment anybody orders anything from this person or this company, you get a cut from that. Have you ever wondered why when you send somebody a hundred bucks, they only get 97 of it? $3 goes to the processor. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So you can literally reach out to businesses and tell them, I'm not charging you nothing, but I'm going to help you. And you're still getting paid and they don't even have to come out the, out the out of pocket. It's so much that I can show y'all. You understand what I'm talking about? Okay. So Raphael says, cool. Uh, I'm or been a writer too. Ranked number three, uh, ranked three books in the top bestsellers on my country, Brazil, years ago. Got some books, got four, got some four books ready to sell, but don't know, but don't want to put them in any tr untrustworthy publisher. Hey, sell them yourself. I sell mine straight from the site. You understand? I mean, you can leverage platforms like uh, Kindle and all of that extra stuff. But they got rules and stuff. I'm I'm an outlaw. No, I'm just playing. Okay. <laughs> Raphael says publishers here are hell. Would rather sell my own stuff if I can find some way. You can find some way, man. Uh, Self made said time to create your own platform for books and ebooks. Yes, Lord. Hey, check this out, man. Remember, because it, it, it's something. Usually, people will talk to you guys. And, and I don't want to consider anything unrealistic because with the most high God, anything is possible. But what I'm trying to tell you guys is I'm not telling you to go out and take Amazon out. I'm not finna fluff your head. I'm, I'm not telling you to go and take Audible out. What I am saying is you can, it's a piece of pie for everybody. If you niche it, if you niche it, make it very specific to a type of publisher, it, you can be the publisher for horror books only. 
You can be the publisher platform for romance novels only. Now you cut Amazon off at the freaking legs because they're just general. But you can become the industry leader for romance novels or audio books, whichever one, blah, blah, blah. Do y'all understand? So I'm not sitting here trying to tell y'all to compete with them on an international level or something like that because I'm not even bigger than these uh, people. But I do know how to monetize assets to the point to where I don't have to get a freaking job ever again. And this is what I want for you guys are so that you don't even, you barely need to even sell anything to anybody. Even a boot camp, the boot camp that you guys are, are asking me about now, it wasn't even my idea. When those when those videos came out and all of that stuff, when I was revealing my assets, you can go on my channel. I've been doing this forever, man. People start saying, hey, how do we build assets? Do you have a course for this? Do you have a course for that? Just like last time I dropped the dang on mastermind. It wasn't my idea. So don't think that I'm I'm just this dude that's going to be salesy, 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 salesy to you guys all the time. No. As you can see, I sit on here for hours with you guys just shooting the crap and helping you with your businesses for free. And I can only do that because I have assets and automations running for me in the background. Are they bigger than Amazon? No. <laughs> Are they bigger than Shopify? No. Are they bigger than eBay or Yelp? No, but I am financially free and I don't have to worry about anything. And that's what I want for you guys. I want the search to be over. I want you guys to understand that if you want to be a business owner, you have to own a business. Uh, when I think of the word entrepreneurship now has been so tainted with all of these uh, uh um people that have no discipline you know just all over the place and and can't stick with nothing and all of that extra stuff listen you have to have focus the bible talks about focus check this out an unstable man is unstable in all of his ways okay because check this out you can't make up a decision it's going to be very difficult for you to do anything in business all right so uh poet poet life said yeah it's, it's great and confirmed info confirmed info yes lord all right so uh where were we we were on here check this out let's go come on chat gpt dang man all right here we go get back to it so are y'all understanding why is so powerful you understand like why we're going to be building these platforms out because people are going to be doing this stuff anyway. You're not selling stuff that like, like just luxury stuff that people like don't need and stuff like people we're, we're building assets based off of things that people are going to deal with anyway. And then it gives you so much access to them. You understand if you got their analytics, if you are their website builder, you have the analytics of the pages. You have access to the exact pages that don't give no get no traffic and you have access to their email. You can send them updates. Hey, this web page right here does not have any visibility. Maybe if you did this to the page, then you would start ranking for these specific keywords you got direct access to the exact business owner and they're going to listen to the platform that actually gave them the website versus some marketer that cold called them out of nowhere talking about hey i can get you i can get you some more traffic man <laughs> you understand what i'm saying so now all right do y'all do y'all get that so it, it, you're gonna know everything you know how much traffic they get how many emails are coming into their email list from their website? You know all of that if they build their website on your platform. You know you got access to their customers. <laughs> oh, snappage, man. Oh, snappage. And you can just deal with the business owners in your city, guys. You don't have to be international or national. I'm not trying to tell you that. I'm not trying to make it seem like, oh, it's beyond your reach or none of that crap. Dude, you can have a earn a modest living from each of the platforms. Imagine if you just had ten thousand coming from one platform, just one of your platforms, and that's just passive income. 
You just have enough users on there where it's $10,000 or $15,000 profit per month just from one of your assets. And remember, we're building out five to seven. Okay. All right. So next, what do we have? All right. So next up, guys, we have the Niche Affiliate Network. Okay. So we're going to ask ChatGPT first. What is an... Oh, what is a niche affiliate network? So let's get the definition. The niche affiliate network is a type of affiliate marketing program that focuses on a specific industry of niche market. Affiliate marketing is a marketing practice in which a business rewards one or more affiliates for each c customer brought about by the affiliate's own marketing efforts if you remember when i was just showing you my profit positioning agency website i had an offer on there called the affiliate army i had the course where a person can uh, uh um you know build, learn to build out their own affiliate army and then i have an offer the course was five thousand dollars and then i had the offer to do it for the business where we will train like assassins train 250 plus affiliates that will know what we know 200 and 250 plus affiliates that will use their own time efforts know-how connections ad budgets social media accounts and all of that stuff to promote that one local businesses business Imagine how many sales, how much power, how much brand recognition and domination that business experiences when they have the affiliate army. So you're going to have your own niche affiliate network. OK, so in a niche affiliate network, the affiliates are typically focused on promoting products or services within a particular niche or industry. See, so I'm not telling you to go out there and be ClickBank. I'm not telling you to be Max Bounty. I'm not telling you to compete with them, guys. I'm not trying to send you up a mountain carrying a boulder. I'm not saying you can't do it. You might got steroids on you, right? But I'm not, but I just don't want to test it, right? Check this out. If you went after just a specific industry, like you were an affiliate network for dentists in particular. Look at me now, I'm guilty using the same niches if you were a an affiliate for colleges where you get paid every time a, a student enrolled in a college every time they filled out the fafsa do you understand is i don't even think it's an affiliate network for that do you see what i'm saying so you become the source for all of the freaking colleges in the dang old united states if you wanted to if you wanted to i'm not telling you how to grow OK, so do you all understand, man? Do, do you understand how powerful it is? Because now you're 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 just. <sighs> dude, this is leverage at its highest. OK, and, and what I mean by that is this. The business when a, when a, when a business comes to you, they don't have to pay anything out of pocket. OK, you list and you guys have already seen my affiliate army uh, network, my affiliate network. OK, we're currently building out new offers for that one right now. Right. High ticket offers. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. We have like a thousand plus affiliates for that. Right. So check this out. When a business comes to the affiliate network, right. They don't have to come in, come out of pocket while they got all of these marketers and stuff and these marketing agencies reaching out to them, trying to charge them up front. They come to your affiliate network. Hey, I heard that you help out uh, dealerships specifically to get sales. And you say, yes. Who told you that, my great man? <laughs> all right. And then you say, all right, well, what are the cars that you're really trying to get off the lot? They give you their landing page or you create a landing page for them and you put them inside your affiliate network for dealerships specifically. And then now you got these affiliates that want to make money. Guess what? It's super exciting selling cars. All right. So you provide them with the ads and the training and all of that stuff that they would need to start getting traffic and sales. 
Okay, and now when they start running traffic using their own money, they're going to help these dealerships sell the cars. And guess what? Through the partnership that you have with the dealership, you're going to get paid from every car sale. And then you give your affiliate the cut from that. Oh, snappage. But you didn't spend a dime on marketing and advertising. You just provided the platform. Do you guys understand what I'm talking about, man? Let me know, man. You understand? Put a hashtag power without the 50 cent with it, okay? <laughs> okay? This is one of my favorite business models out there. If you guys haven't figured that out yet, I am like almost obsessed with the arts of leverage. You understand what I'm saying? Joint ventures, partnerships, mergers, all of that type of stuff. Like, because, man. It, 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 the scripture says, the Bible says, you're supposed to go out in the world. You're supposed to make disciples the same way Yahawashai did when he was here. He made disciples and those disciples rippled effect and took over the freaking world to the point that almost 4,000 years later, we still know his name. So that was the first affiliate network, if you want to be uh, technical. OK, yes. Proven business models in the Bible. If you want to show up on the Sabbath day, on Saturday, you will find out way more about that type of stuff. Okay. But anyway, so they give example. For example, a health and wellness niche affiliate network might offer affiliates the opportunity to promote a variety of health supplements, fitness products, and wellness services. That is what a niche affiliate network is. You don't want to be one where they just got a million different offers all over the place and all of that stuff, blah, blah, blah. All right. For example, me on my affiliate network, we try to specifically only have, we have a few low ticket offers, but we major in high ticket affiliate offers, high ticket. That way our affiliates, no matter what, if they get some type of sale is going to cover their ad costs and give them leftovers as well. You understand what I'm saying? So we niche it too, guys. You want to be niche, niche, okay? Do y'all understand, man? Do y'all understand, man? Let me know in the chat. Give me a hashtag. I understand. Don't put the I on there. Just hashtag understand. <laughs> okay, and then you have the e-commerce platform like Shopify. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. You can pretty much get that. I don't have to go through that. That's similar to uh what we talked about with like wordpress and wix and stuff like that so th you see that all of the industry leaders are platforms it's not a specific person it's not a specific like just an, a specific entrepreneur even if you know their names they're known for a particular set a particular platform or something jeff bezos you wouldn't know him without amazon he wouldn't be that rich without Amazon. You understand? Even Jack Ma, the owner of uh, uh, what is it, AliExpress or Alibaba, is a platform. Super rich. Okay. Now check this out. Um, let's see. Net worth of Calendly. Watch this. Come on, man. We don't have time for all that, chat GPT. Come on, man. All right. <clears throat> so another one of the assets that we're going to have, uh, maybe, is an appointment booking site. Remember, you want in front of the money that is already moving. Calendly at work, 2021. Let's see what it says. All righty. Okay. Well, if you go over there on Google, it says that it's around four billion dollars. Chat GPT sucks right now, as far as this type of stuff. After 2021, they don't really know nothing. But anyway, Calendly is around four billion dollars, guys. Probably more now. Because that was like, oh, when I read that. Okay. And it's just a, a, a it's just a freaking calendar where you can book appointments on, guys. 
But guess what? Do you know how much money goes through calendars? Do you know how much money goes through booking apps and all of that stuff? A crap load. You understand? Like a crap load of money. Guess what? Every time you schedule an appointment with somebody, that's money. Okay, you're trying to sign some clients on next week. You told them to meet you next Thursday, and they signed up for your the appointment on your calendar. Whether it's Google Calendar, it doesn't matter. It's still a calendar. Money goes through that, and details go through that. Because you ask questions about why they're reaching out to you, guess what? That calendar company, that booking appointment company, sees why that client or that potential customer, they see why they booked that appointment with you. So, oh, so why am I saying that? It's all about data. And guess what? When they collect that email address for you, who else has that customer's and that client's email address and phone number? The booking calendar company. <laughs> so now that booking calendar has direct contact with that customer and can market to them when you did all the work to get them to sign up to the booking calendar in the first place. They know what they want because they signed up to your calendar. Your calendar says, hey, sign up if you want free personal training sessions or if you want personal training. So now that booking calendar company got their email address and phone number and they can start sending them affiliate offers for workout supplements and stuff like that. And it'll work. They'll sell it because they got data that they just signed up for a personal training session with you. So all they got to do is send them an email. Hey, looking to get fit for the summer? <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? That is finding money that is already moving and jumping in front of it. Do y'all get that? Okay. I want y'all to set y'all alarms. Do me a favor right now. Set your alarm for 5 p.m. I'm trying to decide. Do I want to start coming on here at 4 p.m.? Uh, 5 p.m. Set your alarm for 5 p.m. tomorrow. What we're going to do is we're going to take your specific, your specific assets that you're currently working on right now, like what you guys are working on right now. Well, even if that's an ebook, somebody was talking about they don't know how to get traffic to their ebook. That's fine. Don't worry. Don't panic. Don't fret. We're going to get you traffic to your ebook. I'm going to teach you how to create the irresistible offer. You guys are not going to want to miss this. It's 38 people on her. 38 people should be taking their phones right now and opening that alarm app right now and scheduling it for 5 p.m. Eastern. OK, 5 p.m. Eastern. OK, schedule it right now. Do that. Do that for yourselves, because you're going to walk away from here or you, know, you might be laying in the bed. I don't know. Whatever. Tomorrow with a traffic and sales plan. OK. Is not if you build it, they will come. That movie lied to you guys. What if you what if you built it on a dead end street? Will they come then? No. What if you built a website in a super competitive industry? Will they come just because you built it? No. So you have to know how to harness traffic, and you need to have the irresistible offer if you want high sales volume. OK, so schedule 5 p.m. Name that tomorrow, uh, 5 p.m. Um, asset building, uh, asset monetization live stream. That's a long title. I don't know. You, you just name it something you're going to remember to come back to the anti job university channel at 5 p.m. OK, do that now, guys. Fung out right now in my Chris Tucker voice. OK. <laughs> OK, and we're going to go through the assets that you are actually building, whether that's an ebook, uh, a, a course, audio book, uh, whether you actually have a local business, brick and mortar or online, a T-shirt. I don't care what it is. We can get traffic because there are formulas to it and we can get sales because there are formulas to it. There are laws, laws. And when you follow the laws, you get the results inevitably. It becomes a when am I going to be a successful, not an if I'm going to be a successful. We don't like ifs over here on this channel. 
We like inevitability, like Smith from The Matrix, okay? It's inevitable, Mr. Anderson, okay? We want inevitability, right? So come here, you know, Laura's will, you know, maybe Armageddon happen tomorrow, right? But, you know, <laughs> if we're still here tomorrow, <laughs> show up at 5 p.m. Eastern. Show up with a notepad, whether that's digital or whether that is, you know, actual physical, old school style. You understand? We're going to take notes. We're going to help each other out because some of the people on here are actually going to be some of your customers or clients, right? So you, you guys need to start like communicating. Stop being shy and just being a peeping time. You just looking here. I see you on here, but you're not saying anything. Okay. How are you going to like get help? How am I going to be able to help you if you don't say anything? We have a few people talk in the chat, but we need activity guys so we can help each other, right? Raphael says 5 p.m. Eastern. Yes, Lord. Make sure we are here. Okay. Um, Michael Alexander said that script writing was a good idea. Are you talking about the video? <laughs> the video I did. Um, I think it's y'all, y'all need to go back and check that one out because it's the truth, guys. Like, literally, these people are scouts, man. Just like if you were in high school playing basketball, they send their scouts out and, and, and to recruit, right? So you need to start. If you, I don't know what you guys' dreams are or whatever, but you can make a lot of money just writing scripts and selling them or make a lot of money selling song lyrics, all right? And guess what? Now, even if you are bad at it, <laughs> you can leverage ChatGPT to help you with it. So you can go and get proven movie script summaries because most movies have the same plot they just switch characters around anyway blah 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 but anyway you go and get like a movie like it was the action movie of the year it needs to be a proven remember let all your ways be established so you go and get the summary of that proven action movie and then you take it to chat gbt and you tell chat gbt to make it original right because we don't want to plagiarism right so chat gbt rewrite this action movie script but make it a romantic comedy action movie script on top of that make it take place during uh, 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 uh the 1920s when swing dancing was around or some crap like that i don't know uh, <laughs> uh chat gpt uh make it take place during the winter time as well and reference the winter holidays as well you, do you see what I'm saying? So now it's going to take that proven movie script, meaning it's going to be super interesting and, and exciting enough for a studio to actually pick it up, but it's going to be completely original because you added all these other situations and scenarios in there. Uh, Chat GBT, uh, the characters need to have these specific names, okay? And they're, they need to be orphans. So that's their backstory. Blah, blah, blah. Come on, man. Talk to it like you're talking to a dang on uh, partner having a strategy session. That's how you use chat GPT. You understand what I'm talking about? Okay. 5 p.m., guys. I love y'all. And I appreciate you guys for staying on here with me this long. You understand? Uh, but, yeah. If you're going to be in the boot camp, that will be 20. That is the launch. It is modest. I'm not going all over the world promoting it or anything. It's just going to be us, guys. Okay. Um, and we're going to have five to seven monetized assets by the end of the eight week boot camp. I'm taking out eight weeks of my life with y'all. You understand? That's love right there. You understand? It ain't free, but is it, it's still love. That don't mean it ain't free. <laughs> okay. But guess what, guys? No more looking in the suggested section of YouTube. For the next video idea, no more clicking into that webinar that uh, that plays over the freaking video uh, in an ad or whatever because you're still trying to figure out which business model to do. The owners of assets are the ones that will survive every single recession. You see it. They're the ones that are, are rarely affected. Why? Because they have theme park products. Why? That means that other people's businesses other people's livelihoods are dependent upon their platforms so they can't cancel the memberships or they lose 
everything. They can't cancel the subscriptions or they lose their entire entire businesses, whether or not they're in a bad financial situation or not. This is why you want to be an asset owner, a platform owner, the middleman, if you want to call it that. That's why, because people depend upon your assets. Okay, so make sure. Uh, uh, Marcus said, <laughs> hey, Dark Chemistry said, uh, thank you, and you are welcome, Dark Chemistry. I don't think I've seen you here before. Hey, nice to meet you. Frederick Newsome, what's going on? What's going on, bro? Travis, what's up, man? I ain't seen you in a while, man. Uh, Camille Leachman, yes, love it. <laughs> yes, love it. Then we got Marcus, he said, Signed up for Builder All yesterday and sent the text, but I didn't get a response. Okay, I'm gonna check you out. Make sure you check your uh, your spam folders as well for your your uh, free courses and everything like that. Make sure you check your spam folders as well, okay? Because sometimes they go there because when you send links through email, especially multiple links back to back, uh, YouTube gets. I mean, not YouTube. Google like. It's like a red flag to them. They might think it's spam. So it might be in your spam folder. But I will go in there personally and look for your email, okay? Uh, Travis say he been in a rut, man. Hey, yo, I understand, bro. Uh, nephew said, welcome, dark chemistry. Yes, Lord. All right, make sure you guys are here tomorrow, man. If you're not here tomorrow, man, how are you going to get the irresistible offer down packed? All right. How are you going to get the perfect SEO game plan and the other traffic strategies for the assets that you guys are building out? There's a lot of people talking about this chat GBT stuff, this AI stuff, guys. But I want you to be able to capitalize on it and stand the test of time because it's a trend. It's going to go down. If you go on my channel, you'll see that the views from this chat GPT stuff is dwindling. It's a trend, guys. It's a trend. OK, but are you going to survive when trends go away? If you leverage this stuff and create lasting assets, then it doesn't matter if it's popular or not. I was here through all the last 15,000 trends and I'm still here because of assets. OK. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Travis says, thank you for your content. I'll be here tomorrow, 5 p.m. Eastern. Yes, Lord, there's 39 people on here. I pray that 39 of you guys have set your alarms for 5 p.m. Eastern. From now on, that's what I want to do. I want to actually um, um, take your actual businesses that you're working on. So this is going to require for you guys to be active. You can't come on here and be shy because then I got to figure out what to talk about. I don't want to waste people's time. So as soon as we get on here, you guys need to be commenting, hey, I have this business. How do I get traffic for it? Hey, I have this product. How do I get traffic for it? Start doing that immediately so we can get straight to it and not waste nobody's time. I am here to help you. That's what God gave me this gift for, to help you guys. You understand what I'm talking about? All right. So you guys got to let me help you. You understand? I'm not charging anything. Uh, nephew said, Travis Barlow is all right, man. We all been there. Stick around, good people, and positive vibes. Come back around, bro. Yes, Lord, man. Stay here. No judgment here. Uh, we don't do all the, the brokey talk like uh, Andrew Tate or anything or nothing like that because I've been broke many a times. You understand? I've been in struggle many a times. Uh, it's, it's all type of stuff I'm still going through. I told y'all about uh during the scamdemic you know when google did that dang on last update and took like 80 percent of my freaking google assets you know how much money that was <laughs> you know how much money disappeared from me overnight overnight imagine waking up and like a huge chunk of your businesses is gone guys so that's when i went into hyperdrive about owning my own platforms and assets. All right. I still don't own a Google or anything, but I have my ways of getting traffic that I'm going to teach you guys, which do not require uh, or, 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 or it does not have to be mandatory to use search engines um, um, or, or uh, you know, Facebook ads and that type of stuff. OK, <laughs> Morpheus, thank you. <laughs> Morpheus now. I, I at first I was Prometheus. Now Morpheus. Okay. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank y'all. Welcome, man. I, I want to thank y'all too, man. Like <laughs> he said, Morpheus. Now, um, Mr. Carter said, any chance of sending the Spanish IG scraper to those that want it? Customer service stopped texting when I said I haven't used much Spanish in twenty years. Um, check this out. We're building the new version of the the, the Instagram scraper, guys. I really don't want to send out the Spanish version. You understand? A couple people got the Spanish version and they don't even, you know, they don't speak Spanish and it's just a headache. It's a headache, guys. So I just, let me just finish. Like, it's not easy building this type of stuff from scratch. Okay. So let me finish building the Instagram scraper. I will give you the update when it is done and I will send the English version of it and it's going to be better than the other version. Okay. All right. Um, Raphael says he lost eight million in a, on a scam. All the cash he had, dang, that sucks, bro. Uh, yeah, that sucks, dude. <laughs> but yeah, my assets, all the assets that I had generating traffic for me on Google and sales and stuff during the scam demic, dude, we was all the way up. And then like towards like the ending of the scam demic, that's when Google did this out of nowhere update and all of our snack pack rankings. All of that stuff just like just was I just would get notifications all day talking about suspended, 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 deleted, deleted, unlisted, suspended. I'm like watching money just burn in my face, looking at my dang on it. Like I had to put the phone on mute. Like it was like devastating, dude. I ain't even gonna stunt, but it's good because it made me better. The scripture says good men are tried through the furnace of adversity. Do you think? A furnace feels good. No, <laughs> like you got to go through some stuff. Gold is tried in the fire and he that endures to the end, he shall receive the crown of glory. So we got to make it through these hard times, Travis. We got to like show that we're durable, that that nothing is going to stop us. We're going to uh, persist. You understand what I'm saying? Like uh, uh, because if you do, then it's inevitable that you're going to reach the success. OK. Uh, butterfly meditation said excellent roadmap to chat gpt i appreciate that guys um make just make sure you're here let's try to be here every single day because this is for free guys <laughs> you know what i'm saying like consultations like this one-on-one -on -one cost thousands of dollars you understand somebody actually taking your specific business and giving you a specific plan particularly to you like tailored to you down to the dang on dollar right i'm going to give that all to you guys and i'm not going to charge you a dime on here okay so you should be here at 5 p.m eastern um unless you get a notification saying otherwise but 5 p.m eastern set your alarm i forgot to show you guys some of the automations so we're gonna uh check out a few of the automations guys that we're gonna be using in the boot camp as well to get traffic and sales to our stuff on autopilot so i'm gonna show you one of them right now uh here we go all right so today i told you guys i was going to show you some of the softwares and the bots that we use so this is an instagram scraper right here remember i was telling you we would get all of their numbers and uh dm information and phone numbers and all of that you can search by hashtag all right you're going to put a delay in there for 10 seconds so it doesn't lock up your instagram account you're going to put your maximum result that you want to scrape for now <clears throat> Let me just show you guys how it works. I'm late to actually come to the class. All right, so we'll put the hashtag realtor in there right now. And we're just going to pick the account that we're logged into. And then we're going to press start. So all of our lead scraping can be done on Sundays and all of that stuff and scheduled out. All right, <clears throat> so as you can see, it's gathering all of their user information and all of that. Okay, so then... Once we have their DMs and all of that, watch this. This is the software that I sent you guys. Some of you guys don't know how to use it. Let me open it up. 
All right. So you once you downloaded it and it extracted it, you'll notice this in the download area. It should be in the download area under this name right here. This right here, you don't have to have this. Just keep this file, keep it named this, and then you just switch it out with whatever new leads that you scraped. OK, and when you want to uh, change the message, you'll open this with a notepad, as you can see, like how I did right here. You see, I'm starting on line 442. I'm going to change that to 52 so I don't send the same people the same message. And I have a 60 day, a uh, 60 second delay, which I usually want to change. OK, so um, and here is the message that's going to send in the email and in the DM as well. OK, so now I'm going to save it, <clears throat> close that out. Then I'm going to click on the application part. <clears throat> Close that out. As you can see, the scraper is still running in the background. So now we're waiting for this to open up. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Okay, so I'm just going to show you guys a quick rundown because I actually have to be on the live with you guys right now. <laughs> okay. All right. So as you can see, it's opening up Instagram. Usually you would uh, log into your Instagram, but you only have to do it one time and then it will remember and log you in automatically. And then you would just come right here once you're logged in to Instagram and press enter. So now it's going to take us over to Gmail right now. OK, come on, speed it up, speed it up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. If this is too long, it won't let me upload. It's a freaking uh um stream yard so i can show y'all okay as you can see it's going slow slow because i'm using all these softwares at the same time come on go to gmail oh i didn't even press enter geez i thought i pressed enter <clears throat> okay so now we're on gmail you log into your gmail okay Profit, positioning, boom. Okay, so <clears throat> once you're logged in, then we're just going to be able to come back down here again and press enter. Enter again. So now it's going to take it back over to Instagram and I'm going to let it run through one sequence so you guys can see it. I don't know how long this video is going to be. It might not even freaking upload. <clears throat> All right. So as you can see, it's going to line 452. Boom. OK, so it's going back to Instagram. You can see it going back to Instagram right here. And it's going to open up the latest post. It's doing it by itself. As you can see, I'm not moving the mouse. I guess I sent this guy a message already before. <laughs> okay, that's why you want to remember which line you're on. So as you can see, this can run in the background while you're doing other things all day. Prospecting for you, generating leads for you, generating sales for you. So after it puts a comment on the last post, it's going to open up the messenger. <clears throat> Excuse me. Watch it open up message right now. I'm late, guys. Look at that. All right. So now it's about to send them the message. As you can see, I got my URL in there, the bit.ly link. Boom. That's going to my booking calendar. So now it's going to close this out. Watch this. And it's going to send them an email with the same message, with the same booking calendar, and all of that. And it will literally just do this all day, like all day, setting appointments for you and doing all of that extra stuff. You don't need a virtual assistant anymore. And remember what I showed you guys in Builder Raw the other day. You see the mouse still haven't moved yet. All right. So it's sending that. It put the subject line in there. It put everything in there. OK, boom. Sent that message. All right. So now it's going to wait 60 seconds and then it's going to go and do it all over again to the next line, to the next lead. All right, so here's the scraper. And as you can see, so far it scrapes 468 uh, people from Instagram, DM, phone numbers, all of that extra stuff. Now let me go ahead and get on the live stream with you guys because I'm late. <laughs>
So that, as y'all can see, that's one. Uh, well, that's the old Instagram scraper. We are renewing it with our branding and giving it different features, a few more different features. And it's going to work 10 times better, more fast, and all of that extra stuff. So stay tuned for that if you can be patient. Okay. But anyway, you saw the other bot. The other bot, it automatically comments on Instagram last post, it automatically DMs them what you're trying to prospect them, then it automatically pulls from the XL, uh, XSL, X, Excel, Excel file, I'm tripping, Excel file, and it takes the email, opens up your Gmail, and emails them your prospect and message with the booking calendar as well on autopilot while you're working on the other side of your computer with no interruptions it doesn't need any bathroom breaks it doesn't need a raise it's not going to complain it doesn't have a family emergency and you don't have to pay it okay you get it installed one time and then um that's pretty much it, right? Okay, so what you guys think about that bot right there? Some of you guys have seen it before. Some of you guys are new. These are the things that we're going to be using, some of the things we're going to be using to fill up our assets that we're going to have in the boot camp, okay? And this is some of the things that you guys, that even if you're not in the boot camp, I strongly suggest you get these automations and these bots and all of that stuff. I've been doing this way before chat GPT, people. All right, you understand? Like, get this stuff. It makes your life way easier. So this is the next one that we're going to be using to fill up our assets on autopilot. So it's not too many people showing real proof of how they're making money with chat GPT. So what I did was I came over here and I asked chat GPT to do the best keyword research and scrape all of the keywords for plastic surgeons, uh, chiropractors and dentists. What is going to happen? I am going to automate a way using an AI bot to send them a link to my funding opportunity where they can get new equipment and pay their employees or whatever. And I could get commissions for that. So what's going to happen is I'm going to send to thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of these doctors at the same time, this affiliate link. And guess what? It's going to go to their sites and it's going to fill out thousands and thousands of contact forms while you guys do this manually. So all of these guys in Google, they're going to get a message from me. How? We're going to come over here right now. We took the data that we had from uh, chat GPT and we plugged it in here as keywords. We're going to open up project settings. And as you can see, all of the keywords suggested by chat GPT are inside here. Okay. So then what we do is we're going to close this out and watch this guys. I told you guys, I'll show you every dang on thing, man. All right. We're going to press start and scrape new websites. And as you can see down here at the bottom, look, already is scraped 43 websites. All right. These are chiropractors, dentists, plastic surgeons, people that have budgets between five thousand to twenty thousand dollars easily. And what's going to happen is we're going to get them the funding. And what's going to happen with the funding after they get their equipment, they're going to have enough money left over for us to do some magnifico marketing. All right. And this idea all came from chat GPT. Told you guys. So we use chat GPT for ideas research and what will make us the most money and we combine it with other ai tools and automation tools to do the outreach and mass uh effect okay so as you guys can see this works is already scraped around 285 uh websites so what's going to happen is once it's done you then press stop right here and then you will click uh again and then you would send the messages, but I want to keep it running so that I can send these later. OK, so I'll go more in depth on the training tonight when you guys are with me. OK, all right. So before I get to the part two of that video, there's a couple people in the comments. Uh, A20 said, I need that. How can I get that? Um, I see about having that sent to you. You're going to have to email me. I left my email in there a minute ago. Um, your your euro game surfer says how do i get the software please are you talking about the bot or are you talking about the uh the instagram scraper thing that the instagram scraper thing isn't ready yet um nephew for real said email really said buenos dias 
Yes, Lord. <laughs> yes, it did. No thanks said only Morpheus could use this software without alerting agents. <laughs> Mr. Anderson, we've missed you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but anyway, um, yeah, he said, yep, only Morpheus. Frederick said, I'm feeling like Neo, and No Thanks says, Neo fell from the jump program. Morpheus did it with ease. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, but it's okay to fall, because I'm pretty sure Morpheus fell the first time. Remember what they said uh, when they was, you know, looking, when Trinity was looking all uh, down because Neo didn't make the first jump. Mouse said, everybody falls the first time. No, nobody ever gets the first jump. So it's all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's just about getting back up, right? <laughs> uh, no thanks says, I want to scrape like a pro. Uh, Patty Pacifico said, did chat GPT build that automation bot? No, ma'am, but it can. It can give you the code for it. It can't actually build it. It can give you the code for it. And then you take it over to Fiverr and pay somebody 10, 15 bucks and they'll put it together for you and make that code a reality. That damn easy. OK, uh, Malkin said wellness. He said he said we live. What it do is you. <laughs> hey, what's going on, broski? Shalom, shalom, shalom. Yes, we are live. Uh can you show the bot? I joined about 15 minutes. Which bot? Like we already we just did that. I just showed. Hmm. Which one are you talking about? <clears throat> um, where can you buy these other bots? I had uh, the Instagram when you can you can Google Instagram scrapers, they're everywhere. Um, uh, but the the bot that you saw doing the automatic reach out and all that stuff like that, I had that one built from scratch. Okay, uh, yeah. Uh, Self made said, Is the builder all needed for boot camp? I'm uh, listen, I'm not like these other dudes is gonna tell you you need something in order to succeed. I'll say it's easier because it's a theme park product, it has so many, it's an all in one marketing tool. You understand what I'm saying? It has, it has so many things in there for automation already. So I don't have to build out a million different tools on my own, right? So, I mean, it, it'll make your business easier. So I just say that, but nothing is needed. Business has been around since before the slavery days. They didn't have any, like, you know, software or none of that extra stuff. So, I mean, it all comes down to the offer. Like I told you guys before, traffic and the offer equals money. So, I mean, things make things, these things make things convenient for us, but you don't have to have any of this stuff, all right? I'm never gonna lie to you and make it seem like if you're only one, one funnel away, if you don't get this software, then you're not gonna make money, okay? Never gonna be like one of them dudes, all right? Patty says, right, one of my mentors say the money with ChatGPT is in the script writing, just like you said and showed. Yeah, man, it, <laughs> if you know how to talk to ChatGPT, you know what I'm saying, finesse and caress ChatGPT, if it's a woman, um, <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? If you, if you know how to, you know, deal with it, then you can get some like amazing stuff out of chat GPT. The problem is everybody is asking it the same stuff, same old boards, chat GPT, make me an ebook on how to raise babies, kids, <laughs> everybody writing the same stuff and asking the same stuff and wondering why it's given like horrible content you got to be extremely specific talk to it as if you hired it think about this if you hired a, if you hire a human you gonna sit there and train them up for two weeks aren't you if you hire a human you're gonna train them two weeks on the job because you don't want your business to fall apart you're gonna tell them exactly what you want exactly how to do it when to do it no 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 don't do it like everybody else i want you to do it like this Hey, hey, if you do it like this, you're going to get fired. Da, 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 da. You're going to be very specific with that person. But we come to chat GPT and be all bland and boring and regular chat GPT. How do I make money? <laughs> what do you think it's going to come up with? What, what do you think is really going to answer if you say, how do I make money? You know how many, you know how many ways you can make money? You can go and donate blood. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, what do you want? You know, like... <laughs> 
You got to be specific. Okay. Be very specific with it. Um, priceless. Yes, Lord. What other automation bots can you use? Whatever your mind can think up. And now I probably really sounded like Morpheus Dinner. <laughs> no, but whatever your mind can come up with. You, what I suggest, guys, is start thinking about problems. Start thinking about things that take too long. It's things that are simple, but they take their time consuming. Uh, for example, I just took two things. I took Instagram prospecting and email marketing. Both of those things are simple tasks, but they're time consuming. And I had a bot, an easy, simple bot created that automatically comments and DMs on Instagram and then automatically reaches out to that same person through email. Simple bot. So just take simple stuff that take up all your time and figure out how to automate them. And guess what? Other people will want them too, just like you guys are asking me for them in the comments. See? Money. All right? Um, <clears throat> he said, what do you feel about the mini Google add-ons for chat GPT? You talking about like the uh, extensions and stuff that people are creating for it and stuff? Those are assets. That's good. That's good for them. It's getting them a lot of traffic, but I, you don't need them. If you ask me if you need them or something, no, nah, you don't need them, but I think they're cool. That's what you're supposed to be using it for. You're supposed to be leveraging it to create things. All right. So, yeah. <clears throat> uh, Raphael said in Brazil's forbidden, uh, forbidden to charge for your own blood. <laughs> wow. So they'll just take your blood if they need it in Brazil. Hey, vampire land, huh? Uh, great sense of humor, too. Yes, Lord. Hey, y'all are awesome, too. I couldn't stay on here this long if y'all was all stuffy. You understand what I'm saying? Because that's not how I am. So I, I appreciate you guys' attitudes and enthusiasm as well. That's why I be trying to encourage more of y'all to talk. Like, think about this, man. We like I'm all the way in Panama. Chances are it'll be a long time before I ever even get to meet any of you guys. Because I'm definitely not coming back to the land of garbage. I'll just... <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. I'm not coming back there unless somebody ordered that hundred thousand dollar offer on my website. One of the businesses offer that, then I gotta fly in, and I'm gonna bump the price up because I don't even want anybody to order that one because I don't want to come back to America. So I'm gonna make it so high that they just choose the forty seven thousand dollar option instead, where I can just do it virtually from Panama. Who is that? Okay. All right, I got your email, A20. I will hook you up. Don't worry. All right. Um, Judah, what's going on, man? Hey, what's up? What's up? Okay. Um, somebody asked ChatGPT to give them 100 bucks. <laughs> hey, if that works, then, you know what I'm saying, let me know, because then I'm going to ask you to give me a trillion. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Patty says, someday will you tell us why you left the USA and how you got to Panama? I mean, if y'all got a couple minutes, then I'll tell y'all that. If, if you want to hear a little story of how I ended up all the way in Panama, put a hashtag Panama. And if we get more than five hashtag Panama, nah, I'll make it easy. If we get more than four hashtag Panamas in the chat, then I'll tell you guys how, why, and if you should do it and get the heck up out of the United States, okay? All right, go ahead and put some uh, hashtag Panama. Uh, nephew said, man, please be safe in Panama. Yes, Lord. It is very, it's very safe. <laughs> Way safer than the block. Way safer than I was there. Okay, so we already got some more, more than hashtag Panama. He said, are you a butterfly said, are you a digital nomad? I guess by definition, I would be considered that. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Um, but I'm considering Panama my nesting place. But I do want to do more travel, though. But uh, yeah, it's me, my wife and my three children. And I got hella animals. So it's not like like I've been doing all this traveling with all of them. So I'm kind of tired. <laughs> I'm kind of tired. Like. I even had to leave some of my dogs in Mexico with one of my friends that I met there. So I'm still trying to get them here. You understand? So like it's, it's, 
Who is that? Okay. All right, Joseph, I'm going to hit you up with the... Uh, with the uh, SEO game, yes, Passport Bros on deck. You already know. Patty says, weren't you in Mexico for a while? Yes, Lord. Yes, I was. I love Mexico. But it's hot as a mug, man. Okay? All right, so we got some Panamas in here. So I guess I'll... Man, I was going to watch a little movie, movie before I fell asleep. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Y'all running my time up. I got to go to bed early in the morning. I got to go and sign this contract. But it's all right. I'll tell y'all the story. Uh, let me tell, show y'all part two real quick of that video for the uh, the GSA demo. All right, all right, we're back about thirty minutes later or so. Uh, paused it or whatever. Part two. Anyway, as you can see, it scraped around five thousand five hundred and eighty-two uh, contact forms from all of these websites. As you can see, is chiropractors is a uh, dentist is plastic surgeons all of these in the united states so what we're going to do just for this example is and this all plays into the directory so say you got your business directory instead of the funding link that i'm sending out you will be sending them that so we're going to stop that right here i want to show you something real quick go to project url go you like well okay you show me the keywords yeah it's real uh, what else? OK, so then you come to the submission form right here. So as you can see, it's automatically going to fill out the captures in case you were wondering that this is what it's going to do It's automatically going to fill out the contact form. So it got the name, uh, <laughs> the name of the company, you know, email, the phone number. That's a tracking number. Right. OK, then it's going to uh, give uh the subject line right here i need a doctor asap remember this is targeting chiropractors plastic surgeons and dentists and then they got the message right here howdy um you know i can hook you up basically okay so that's the message okay all right so now that you guys see that how do you send how do you start sending the messages so we're going to click on it again and then we're going to hit start so now as you can see it's highlighted it wasn't highlighted in the other video so all of those five thousand uh websites is going to hit those websites up and start sending messages uh into the contact forms all at once so we're going to hit that uh it says use only selected items yes now uh, was asking me to preview my message one more time and then I'm gonna say, do I wanna? Yeah, okay, so continue. Boom. So now it is busy. And it's about to start sending the messages. So it's just going to send the messages to all of those sites, as you guys can see. And that's pretty much how it goes. OK, so what do you guys think about that? Though? That's crazy, as you can see. So the first one failed because I haven't set up the capture yet. Uh, the decapture tool. That's the thing that's going to like bypass all the captures and everything like that. So you'll see it right here when it says failed. And then over here, it will say uh, sent if it actually went through. OK, so you just want to let this run in the background all day while you're working and everything like that. So it's super awesome. All right, guys, sorry I sound so sleepy in that video. <laughs> I think I was tired as a mug in that one. Um, so we got a whole crap load of people, uh, <laughs> a whole crap load of people that want to hear about the Panama situation, how I ended up in Panama. Uh, no thing says this is the movie right here. I literally just popped some popcorn. <laughs> and Malkin Delano says, do, do we wait until the boot camp to share our ideas for assets or are we divulging our idea, our ideas on live guys? Don't, you can be you can be vague with it. Don't give your actual name of your 
project. Don't give the actual like blueprint out of it or nothing like that. Just you can just name the industry um, and the type. So example, I'll give you an example. You can say, yeah, it's real. I am trying to build a directory for pediatricians. Okay, so now I got the industry and I know it's a directory, but you didn't tell me the specific features that you want. You didn't tell me how it's gonna differ from uh, from the other stuff, you know, from the other competitors or something like that. So don't get too specific publicly, but you can give us the industry and the type of asset that you're trying to build out. Hopefully that understood uh, that answered the question. Mm, hold on. 48 laws of power. Yes, Lord. All right, guys, let's get started. We got 30 people on here still. Wow. <laughs> We've been on here for a while, man. All right. So I am originally, well, I was born in Honolulu, Hawaii. Fun fact. Uh, still haven't lived there as an adult, and now I don't want to because <laughs> I've been better places. All right. But anyway, raised in St. Louis, South Side, the South Side. Yeah. Basically, according to statistics, I'm not supposed to be who I am or where I am or exist right now. Made it past the age of 25 when they say we all die, if you know what I'm talking about. And uh, now I'm in Panama. I have a wife, which is unique to, to most of the people in my age and background. And I have three children. And I, that's also unique for a father <laughs> in my background. It's not really unique, but it's not televised, right? So if you want to know, I had all types of freaking careers. You understand what I'm saying? Like I've been a bus driver for the city of St. Louis. I've been a, uh, 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 what do you call it? A flight attendant. I was a flight attendant for, uh, uh, was it TSA? I, um, I also was an over the road truck driver guys. You understand? So I, I've had a crazy amount of jobs in my life and majority of them I quit because they just never fit. I just knew that I was destined for greatness. I knew I wasn't too deep with God yet, but I still knew that he had something better for me. Like, like how am I supposed to impact the world if I'm working at this warehouse job? You know, I just, it didn't make sense to me. You understand what I'm saying? So I just knew. And on top of that, I, I loved my music at first, you know, well, I still love music, but every job was temporary. Cause I was always thinking about how I'm just going to leverage this to get my music right. You know what I'm saying? That's why if you notice, I always had transportation jobs cause I was slick. I was smart. I'm like, okay, well, if I'm a truck driver, I can just drop this box of demos off every time I stop in a different city. You know, <laughs> if I'm a flight attendant, I can just drop this off in the middle of every airport. Probably wouldn't work because they'll think it's an explosive or something, right? You know, so I always had these type of thoughts, right? But anyway, it didn't work. Around the end of 2014, right? I was finally fed up with taking orders. People telling me when I can take off. People telling me, uh, um, you know, hey, you're on your last chance agreement. Like you only got a couple more points and we're going to fire you and, and, and all of this extra stuff. Check this out, man. I'm a grown man. I only have one father in heaven above. You understand what I'm saying? My dang on earthly fathers don't even talk to me like that. So ain't no complete stranger with a name tag from the talk to me crazy without getting knocked out. All right. But anyway, no violence, right? So I had to get out of those situations. One day, my wife uh, came to pick me up from work, right? And she could just see it. She could just see it written all over my face. You know, <laughs> I didn't have to say a word. That's old school. But anyway, she she could just see it, man. And she knew I wasn't happy, but I'm a man, right? And I just like I didn't have anything backed up. I didn't have no plan, right? But she could just see it, you know. So I wasn't going to quit, but she told me 
She was like, you know, and I thought it was a trick because nowadays, you know, if you if you if you're a dude and you ain't got no job, you a bum and they use that as an excuse to cheat on you and do all this extra dumb stuff. Right. But nah, she said, God got us back then. She had higher faith than me, but she said, God got us. We'll figure it out. And I didn't go back to work. I didn't have no plan, dude. Like I literally just left. But like I remember on my vacation, I would always be trying to figure out how to not go back to work. You know what I'm saying? Like I used to watch, I used to stay up all night watching these infomercials. I don't know if y'all remember that. Uh the infomercials where they'll uh tease you real estate. You sell these real estate notes, you know what I'm saying? You can buy houses for pennies on the dollar and do all this extra stuff. Man, I used to stay up watching that stuff, dude. Desperate desperate to not have to go back to freaking work again. You know what I'm saying? So this time she actually told me to quit. Luckily, I was there long enough to have around 6K in my pension, right? So um, yeah, I quit, man. Then go back and then we decided, you know what? Let's get the heck up out of here. So we left St. Louis and we went to a haunted town called Paducah, Kentucky. All right? Like Paducah is it very haunted, like really haunted for real like serious <laughs> i'm dead at, i'm dead serious okay like yeah but anyway we went there and that was the start of my journey i remember it was a library there you know and uh, the dude the landlord uh was a friend of one of my ex-co-workers and he, they used a date or something and he, he wanted to get back with her so he did her this favor <laughs> of letting me stay there uh with my family for super cheap or no rent for a while. And then after a while, he started talking about, all right, man, you got to get a job. And I was like, oh, well, that means it's time to go. I ain't getting a job again. And hence the name F a job. That's why my channel was named F a job, right? But anyway, uh, so um, while I was there, man, like there was this library down the street. It's a super tiny town. There wasn't really too much to do. And I remember going to the library. And, you know, I was drawn to this, this finance section and it was a whole bunch of books and they all looked boring. And then I ran into this thick book and it was called the laptop millionaire. Oh my God. My life changed from that. Like I was introduced to this world of freaking like entrepreneurship and online marketing and dude, <laughs> Yo, that's when I first heard of all these different business models. I heard of monetizing social media accounts and, and selling them and doing masterminds and doing all this stuff. I'm like, what the hell is this world right here? You understand? And yo, that's when I started trying to do stuff on the computer. I remember going back home and I was just up for hours. I had, I, I was up so, so freaking long that the bags under my eyes can be used to shoplift at grocery stores. <laughs> That's how big the bags was, right? Like, dude, I was up. I'm like, I'm going to crack this code. Like, these people in this book are making money from the freaking internet, right? You know what I'm saying? So, ah, dude, man, I remember like it was freaking, it actually felt like it was yesterday. Dude, I remember being in the kitchen, right? And... <sighs> 14 cent came in 14 cent like i know that y'all thinking that what, what so no 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 until any money comes in you hear that people make money online but it's still not real until it actually happens to you so when i saw 14 cent came came in like I sold something from ClickBank. It was like $4 or something like that. I don't know why. So it, it, I, I thought my commission was going to be bigger, but I got 14 cent from that for some weird reason. Who the hell would promote something like that, right? And it took me forever, a million messages of bribery to get somebody to actually bought, buy that $4, uh, whatever it was, an ebook or a course or something like that. I forgot what it was. Um, yo, it took me forever to get that sale. And it was 14 cent and it changed my dang on life. If I looked at it, how most people look at it, they would have just stopped, man. I did all that for 14 cent. Me, I look past that. You look at an apple and you see an apple. I look at an apple 
and I see a forest of trees because inside that apple is many seeds. And inside those seeds have more apples that become trees. And on those trees have more apples that have seeds inside them. So when I saw that 14 cent, I saw zeros, many zeros behind that 14. I said, if I can make that, then I can put some zeros behind that. And then my next commission was $2. And then it was $7. And I was like, okay, this stuff ain't real. This, it can't be real. And then that $7 ended up on my debit card. And I was scared as hell because I was like, is this real? Is this a scam? Is this, what's, what's going on? I, was, I, was, I didn't know if it was real money. So me and my wife, we was like, all right, we ain't going to do nothing crazy. We just going to go through the drive through. <laughs> so we went to the we went to the McDonald's drive through and we just like ordered some dollar menu stuff. And we was like, OK, if it actually go through, it's real. If it don't, then we're going to ride off and we because <laughs> we it's going to be embarrassing. Like you know, the car going to get declined. Right. <laughs> right. So we actually was able to ride off with the bad McDonald's food. You understand? So it was real. And that was it. I was a shark in a freaking pool full of blood. I went into a frenzy, dude. Like I, I didn't sleep. Like I, I, I was like, no, 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 no. That's real money on that car right there. It's only $7, but it's freaking real from thin air. You know, well, it took time, but at that time I didn't really put that together. I just noticed that I didn't have to go to a freaking job or clock in anything, you know what I'm saying, to get that. So, yeah, I'm telling y'all a freaking long version. I'm I'm sorry, y'all. But anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry. But this this is part of the dang old story, you know what I'm saying? But that that's how I got in got into it. Period. Then my phase of uh virtual wholesaling came to play. I learned about the real estate model while I was there as well with the virtual with the wholesaling. It was the traditional wholesaling at first. But then I was like, dude, it got to be a way to like scale this up and not have to be outside putting up bandit signs and all of that extra crap. So I always thought like that next level. I'm like, dude, these dudes out here buying bandit signs and sticking them on a the corner. And then the cops is coming on the weekend and taking them down. And you ain't even getting no phone calls to you know sell the houses and nothing like that. I'm like, dude, that's lame. So I, that's when I started. I was one of the first people putting the listings on Craigslist for the houses for sale and all of that. Dude, I've been around, man. Told you I've been around for a while, man. <laughs> so, but yeah, then I started getting a lot of leads. And then real realtors and wholesalers started recognizing that. And they was like, well, um, how the hell are you like, why, how are you getting all these leads? You know? And then they started paying me. And then I started creating courses, teaching them how to get real estate leads for themselves as well. And then I started venturing off into other uh, niches in marketing and stuff. So that's pretty much how I came to be. So then we moved <clears throat> to a tiny town because I wasn't going back to St. Louis, moved to a tiny town called Mexico, Missouri, you know, uh, whew, super tiny town. Right. But it was peaceful and it was quiet and I didn't have to worry about getting shot down by no damn police there. Right. But anyway, so are one of my brothers. So we stayed there for a while, but the entire time I always knew like, dude, I'm not dying here. You understand? Like it's a whole big world out there. Like I want to see the world. I want to show my kids some stuff and, and all of that extra stuff. So like we was always plotting and scheming on how to get up out of there. Right. And, um, <laughs> For like three years, we were planning to move to Medellin, Colombia. We wanted to go to Medellin, Colombia. Okay. Um, <laughs> no thing said 14 cent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My life is a movie, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks, Patty. She, she said this is great. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, dude. I told you, man, this is great. Look, and this is before like social media brought the gurus to the forefront this is back when the gurus was afraid to come out because everybody thought everything was a scam so if you admitted that you made money online or something everybody accused you of being a scam so basically it was nowhere for me to get help from so i had to put all of this <laughs> together by myself you understand to figure this stuff out for example i i, I am holding money sessions 
uh, I have the money session group right now. It's like six or seven of us. And I took them under my wing and um, I've been spending time with them the past week and a half. Right. And just in a couple of days, they got up their whole business model up. Uh, they, they, they're doing party buses and they are already getting people inquiring about booking party bus rentals already just in a couple of days. Do you know how many years it took me to get to that point? This is why I talk to you guys about leverage. One of the things you want to leverage is other people's knowledge and experience. All right. Like, dude, what, 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 what took them just a couple of days? It took me years to figure all that stuff out. You understand? But anyway, back to it. All right. So we were supposed to be moving to Columbia, but it didn't happen because of the scandemic. Uh, right when we had our tickets booked to leave Mexico, Missouri for, for good, <sighs> the scandemic happened. And if you go back on my channel, you'll see two months before that, I told the world, I told everybody that something is about to happen where you're going to have to work from home. Cause I had got into it with somebody that was talking about, well, I got a good job. I don't really need this stuff right here. <laughs> I said, well, okay. One day is going to be a day where you literally have to work from home. And I told him that. And right two months later, here we, yeah, <laughs> that's freaking crazy, right? But anyway, so um, we ended up going to Florida anyway when the scandemic happened because our tickets, we, we were supposed to fly out of there, right? We were supposed to fly out of Florida to go to Columbia. But then the borders closed. And I was like, oh no, right? I was like, oh no, I'm trapped in the land of, I'm trapped in the land of darkness. I'm trapped in Babylon the Great. You understand? I'm trying to flee the land of the north like the Bible told me to. I'm trapped. So we were stuck here, or, th or so we thought. So we stayed here, I think it was two months, but my wife said it was four months, but who knows? Time flies when you're working. I was working with y'all and stuff, so I don't remember. So she said we were in Florida for like four months. Everything was shut down, couldn't go to Disney World, couldn't show the kids, none of that, so that sucks. Uh, and it was hot. I hate, I hate being hot. Okay. But anyway, <laughs> so anyway, one day she came to me and she said, Hey babe, guess what? I said, what? I thought she was going to prank me or something. Cause she was, it, the setup was like, like she was going to prank me or something. They always trying to get me on this stupid prank stuff. I don't want to do none of that. All right. But anyway, so <laughs> she said, Mexico been open this whole time. I said, what? She said, yeah, Mexico never closed. I'm like, and I've been her in expensive Florida spending all this dang on money, locked up, forced to wear a mask and, and all this fake scamdemic stuff. She said, yeah. I said, book this flights right now. My voice got deep just like that. I said, book, book the flights right now. <laughs> so immediately we booked flights for the entire family. Well, my family. Uh, so it's five of us plus our animals, right? So immediately, no thought. I didn't care. I'd never been to Mexico before a day in my life. I didn't care. I just needed to get off of this piece of land. I needed to get off of this. I needed to get out of America. I didn't care. All right, sign me up for the cartel. I don't care. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so basically, so we went, to, we went into Playa Corman, Playa del Corman. And... Um, yeah, we stayed there for like almost two years, met a lot of cool people, uh, still didn't get fluent in Spanish because I was always working and and basically it was enough English speakers, speakers there that I wasn't forced to be too uncomfortable to get fluent. You know, I learned a little bit, but now I'm in Panama and I'm definitely going to get fluent here because nobody speaks English. <laughs> okay. But yeah, so I was in, in, in Mexico for a while. It was, it was, we had a lot of fun, man. You know what I'm saying? That we survived freaking three hurricanes in, in Mexico. I was living off the beach too. So imagine how scary that was. Ain't nobody give me the heads up. I was wondering why all those houses was vacant on the beach. I didn't know it was hurricane season. <laughs> No, I'm thinking we getting a good deal, dude. No wonder it was cheap. Like, like we off the beach in this big old house, dude. And it was super, like, super cheap. But one day we wake up and we can swim in the freaking house. You understand? Like, <laughs> all praises to the most high. We, we survived that, dude. So it was like three hurricanes while we was there, man. Uh, 
But then we had to make a decision, man. Like, because our visa and all of that situation was, uh, we already had to go renew our visa once and go back to Florida. I'm like, dude, I'm tired of going back to America. You know what I'm saying? So we are like, dude, do we get permanent residency here or what? Then I was looking at the visa requirements um, for permanent residency in Mexico, and it's just like super, like, ah, oh, like, right, dude, too much, dude. Like, dang, I'm, I'm bringing good economy. I'm bringing good money, money over here. Why y'all making it so difficult to become a dang old citizen, man? You understand what I'm saying? And then the rules for for uh, starting your own businesses there and all of that stuff is super strict and stuff. I like, dude. And owning land and uh, I ain't got time for all that. I'm trying to go somewhere and build. Okay, like my children, my children's children's children are going to be able to tell the story of how we ended up in a faraway land away from the rest of our family members over there in Babylon, where you guys are at right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I wanted to go to a land where I can build whole communities and the government don't come and take it and build a highway right there. You understand? Like, <laughs> like, hey, I know that you have the deed to this land, but we don't give a F. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> By orders of president, we're taking it back, but we're not going to give you a refund either. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, no, I wanted to be through with all that crap, right? Okay. So, yeah. So, um, we started researching, and I always, you know, it, weather has always been my thing. That's why we wanted to go to Medellin, Colombia. Because we've been hearing so much that, about it being the land of eternal spring and all of that stuff. So when I did some more research, I found out that there's a couple other places in the world like that. Uh, like in Ecuador. Um, um, let's see. Um, and over here in Panama, right? So like consistent spring weather year round. Green vegetation everywhere. Beautiful mountains. Look like you're in a Jurassic Park movie. Uh, you know, it's, it's just, it's just, you know, gorgeous place to live and the people are extremely nice and stuff, you know? So I was doing that research while we was in Mexico and I was like, Shh. and then I was looking at the visa situation and you can get a friendly visa for the entire family for just 5k. So I'm like, okay, all right. I mean, the, and then it's easy for you to start a business here. They don't give a damn. You know, you can just start a business here. There's people with businesses out their front yard and stuff. Like, they don't care. There's people with a uh, half house, half restaurant. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they don't care that you're an American. They don't say, oh, well, since you're an American. Blah, blah, blah. No, like, it's like a cool country, like a mug. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, it's just awesome here, man. I, I love Panama. Now, it is very expensive when it comes to food. You might as well buy your food straight from America. Like they're extremely expensive, especially if you get the uh, the popular American brands. They take advantage of, the, of your homesickness. They know, like, okay, he's gonna get the Doritos instead of the uh, Cuchibaba. You know, <laughs> I'm just making up words, right? You know, so uh, <laughs> they they take advantage of that. They uh, they already know. So there's a lot of things that are extremely expensive in Panama. But then there are things that are extremely uh, cheap and it's just super laid back and beautiful and friendly here. And uh, you can build her, man. You can build her, you know. So it's give or take. It's give or take. As you guys know, in some places, the Internet is not that stable yet, <laughs> you know, which is why I'm not on camera right now, because I don't have time for my my dang on webcam to be all stuttering and screen uh, uh, freezing up and stuff like that. That's super annoying. Right. Uh <laughs> All right. Um, A20 said, great story because it's one, real 100. Uh, good to hear of one for the dirty getting out of, out of the dirt. <laughs> yes, Lord. Um, Melissa said, I have major trust issues anyway. I think everything is a scam. <laughs> hey, that's bad, man. I mean, it's good in some ways. You want to be, you know, skeptical to a point, but you don't want it to... Um, you don't want it to be so bad that you miss out on life and, and great experiences. I'll just say that. Always keep yourself safe to the best of your abilities. Then you pray on it. If things are based off of law, then you don't have to worry about it. The scripture says, if you follow law, then no harm shall come to you. OK, so if the things that you're experiencing go against the laws of God, then, yeah, it's going to be danger in it going to know if you can trust it and all of that extra stuff. Chances are you're going off your lust 
or it was built off less. So yeah. So you just have to check if it's built on a rocky foundation, you know what I'm saying? Uh, before you make a decision, but you do want to make a decision and you don't want to miss out on everything in life based off of skepticism. Trust me. Trust me. Okay. Uh, yes. God has always been your refuge. Yes. Yes. Lord. Okay. So that's how I ended up in, in, in Panama. Um, now why did I leave the United States? Then, you know, it might get a little bit more, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> dark side for you guys <laughs> um i did a video on our old travel channel about 11 reasons why we left the united states um and it's probably ranking for reasons why we left united states if you youtube that it's me and my family and we was in mexico sitting on the couch uh the, the channel is called journey to tomorrow <laughs> journey to tomorrow uh, but yeah, so yeah, we haven't posted over there in a long time. And I did a video called 11 reasons why we left the U S and are never going back. Okay. Um, <laughs> and the food, I'll just get, I'll just be PG 13 with some of it. The food, the um, uh, American food is garbage, fake, super processed money focus. They don't care about your health. It's all about, uh, sticking it with so much crap to make it addictive and flavorful that you just buy more and more and more don't give a damn if you blow up and look like a blimp okay trust me i know from experience okay when as soon as i got to, as soon as i got to mexico all of my family's skin cleared up uh we started dropping weight like freaking crazy in a healthy way the food tasted it felt like a how does it taste like a scam <laughs> It was so delicious and natural tasting that it was like a scam to it was like, dude, this 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 ain't real. You know, the meat, like the meat is something different, Paul's about the meat. You understand what I'm saying? Like, dude. Oh my god, man. Like when when we ate the steak in Mexico, we knew what the heck they was doing to the steak, uh, to the cows in the United States. We knew. Once we once we had that, we knew. I'm like, yo, I, I I don't want no food in America ever again. Okay, the ice cream, all that stuff is different. Like, you understand? It's super delicious, man. I love that country. I ain't gonna lie. If, if it was easier to get a visa there, and if I could find a like a cool part of Mexico where it's like year-round spring weather or something like that, and they got good internet connection and all of that, then I probably would have stayed there. But yeah, it was hot. It was hot as a mug. Anyway. Um, so another reason why we left the United States, obviously, especially at the time we were there, all the freaking police crap that was going on, uh, with the random brothers and, and stuff like that, just getting shot down. Just, just cause I'm tying my shoe in the middle of the day. Like I'm tying my shoe in the middle of the day that deserves death. Uh, you know, I picked my nose that deserves to get shot down. Oh, I was, uh, waving at somebody out the window of my car and you thought that was a gun waving, you know? <laughs> All of that crap was, you know, like, look, I, I'm not standing there. I'm not, my son, I have a son. You understand what I'm talking about? Uh, is at the point where you tell your kid, you tell your family, I'll be back. I'm just running around the corner to the store. And there's no guarantee that you're coming back. You're not doing anything wrong. You're just literally running around the corner to the store, but you still might not come back, though. You understand? Like, what kind of life is that? Everybody be asking me, why would you leave the United States? It's so much opportunity there. It's so, much, it's so much death, destruction, and misery there, too. Okay, so uh, I wanted my son to uh, be able to grow up and live a regular life like everybody else's in different races. Sons get to live a regular life. I don't want him to be nervous when somebody uh, gets behind him in a cop car or something. Literally, in Mexico. In Mexico, listen, we're walking to the mall. Then you have these Mexicans with guns that are the same height as them. And when you you got these these this black family coming to the, the mall every time and they hold the doors open for us and we wait for them to finish filling or taking the money away from the ATM and they let us wait there and they don't look at us weird. 
they don't pat us down or just make some reason to check us or tell us to go all the way, stand over there and wait while we do this because we don't know if you're trying to hold the place up, sir. You know, <laughs> like literally they have conversations with you, like just regular people because they are regular people. So serve and protect. Serve us, not the other way around. You understand what I'm saying? So it's, a, it's just a lot of reasons, man. It's, I mean, give me one good reason to stay in the United States instead of instead of, you know, asking why I live. Let me ask why you stay. Is it family? Well, how come the families can't get passports and get the hell up out of there, too? That's not a good reason. You're going to get homesick. Well, check this out. Boats, roads, trains, airplanes all go two ways. That means if your people miss you that much, they can come visit you out the country. At least they'll get a good experience. So it was no reason for us to stay there. What was the upside? They was trying to force a, 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 a wax, a wax scene on us full of baby weird blood and pig guts and all weird crap that they got in the in the wax scene. I'm gonna call it a wax scene. You understand? Like all of this extra stuff, you gotta get permission to homeschool your own kids. That country makes it clear that you don't even own your own children. Because if you let them stay home too long, they come knock on your door and like, what are you doing? How come they're not in school? We need to indoctrinate them. Oops, did I say that out loud? <laughs> did I say that out loud? Make sure your kids are in school next week. We got to teach them uh, sex ed, you know, of how a human can have babies with a frog. <laughs> That's where that country is headed to. That's why. Do, need I say more? Do I need to keep giving reasons why we got the heck up out that dang old country? What is good about it? It's false advertisement. Land of opportunity for who? For who? You understand what I'm talking about? I am in a country, well, both of these countries, Mexico country and in Panama, where it's extremely diverse. And yes, every country you go to, it doesn't matter where you go to, there's going to be a, 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 you know, racial differences. But at least in the countries I've been to so far, I'll take a stare over a noose. I'll take a stare, let me say that again, a stare over a noose. Okay? So, uh, yeah, man. My kids was not going to grow up in survival mode for their entire freaking life. I wish my father cared enough or, or God, you know, opened his eyes to show me at a young age that I have options, but God doesn't make mistakes. So he meant for it to be my generation. And uh, I'm grateful for that because now my kids have a chance at not being defined by what they look like. You understand what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. And my children are awesome and beautiful and, and handsome and extremely talented. But that stuff don't matter in that country. It don't matter. It don't. I don't even matter. I don't matter in that country. I, I have the knowledge to tear down industries or build them up. I'm an extremely powerful asset to any company. But because of what I look like, <laughs> my skill set does not matter in that country. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. What's the point of being there, man? What is the point, man? Um... But yeah, all right, let me shut up. My wife is on here. She 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 don't want me to get too uh crazy. <laughs> Cause you know I like I'm super like, you know, if you want to call it red pill, you know. Uh but yeah. Um Frederick said, Thanks for sharing. I'm planning my escape. This is the Exodus, y'all. What did what did what did Moses do with the uh, with the with the Israelites? What did he do? He he led them out of Egypt. The Bible calls America spiritual Egypt. You are still in shackles. Make no mistake. Only your shackle is a name tag and a freaking badge at, at work. You understand what I'm talking about? 
All right. And, and, and indoctrination. Your mind is shackled. Now, you understand you have to break out of that crap. I guess we can go ahead and talk about that Morpheus stuff now, huh? <laughs> but you do. You got to get out of there, man. Real talk. <sighs> um, yeah, it's 840, dude. <laughs> uh, Melissa says, yes, it's all in the Bible, too. All of this absurdity has happened before. Yes. It's, hey, the scripture says nothing new under the sun. Yep. And it's going to get worse. It is going to get worse. Y'all are afraid of some freaking scamdemic shots. That's nothing compared to what they're going to do. Y'all be, listen, y'all better get ready, man. Hey, wisdom and money is a defense. You need to increase your wisdom and you need to increase your money to survive what they got coming. You understand what I'm saying? But it doesn't turn from a business thing. To... <laughs> okay, listen. All right. Uh, she said, I've been thinking of leaving too. Don't think. Do it. Do it. Like what's stopping you? Fortunately, that country is free enough to where they allow us to have passports. So none of you guys are stuck. Don't allow yourself to make excuses. Get the heck up out of there. Life is too short to sit it in the same spot. The scripture says the world, and I'm going to say this all the time, the world was made for our sakes. So why are we confined to blocks, corners, hoods? Why? When the world was made for your sakes. You understand? Yes. Deuteronomy 28, 68. Yes, Lord. Um, but Patty says, it's unreal to me that we are still fighting that crap in 2023. It's never going to go away. Never. It's not. The scripture talks about it. It's never going to go away. Never going to go away. Certain people just have to go. All right. She says, so stupid and no reason for it. With all this intelligence, we are stupid. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, man. Uh, because it's, it's a spiritual thing. It's not, it's not an intelligence thing. It's a spiritual thing. If you notice from the beginning of time has been, ah, trying not, not to go too, too far into it. But if you notice from the beginning of time has been two specific races from the beginning, it's a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual thing. It's not an intelligence. That's why we can't get over it. We've had all of these Dr. Kings. We've had all of these geniuses and think tanks trying to figure out peace and all of that. It will never be peace because it's a spiritual thing. But I, I can't get into that on this channel. <laughs> I will definitely get demonetized if I get into that on this channel and probably uh, kicked off as well. Um, <laughs> Melissa said, I tried so hard to warn Everyone, I lost so many friends and family, but to me, it's not rocket science. Uh, it's common sense. Yes. Uh, Raphael says, that's my ex exact objective. That's why I'm on a hurry to make money. Uh, uh, Got to get out of Dodge, 10 minimum cities. Uh, my, my, <laughs> uh, oh, 10 minute cities. My okay, Ravia says, I'm happy so many people in this channel seem to be awakened to what's going on. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, man. Hey, the you know, the most high, he will bring us together for certain things, right? Um, Gordon says, I think you need a separate spiritual channel. <laughs> I, I, I had one, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I don't, um. It's very difficult. People idolize you. Even in the wilderness with the Israelites, like even though he's just freed them from Pharaoh, they still try to create a golden dang on calf to worship. We just have this habit of idolizing stuff that don't deserve it. Celebrities, bum rappers, stupid politicians, basically humans that are all flawed. That's why God said we're not supposed to lord over each other because Nobody deserves to be a lord over the other person. We're all flawed. You understand? But that's why I haven't, I don't, you know, I had a channel. It was called Scripts, Precepts, and Edification. 
but like it didn't really even like when nobody even there like nobody was paying attention uh but even if i had one person on there i was glad to, to be able to help them but i don't want people like i see some of these other spiritual channels and they start like they start worshiping these people you know what i'm saying and it's like dude god will destroy your idols i'm not trying to be set up to be destroyed so i'd rather be your brother i'm not your pastor i'm not your master i'm not your king i'm not your lord i'm not your leader i'm not I'm, we're supposed to be brothers and sisters because our shepherd our comforter hasn't returned yet none of your pastors are anybody they don't mean anything god said that they are for hire they are not in the right mindset right now the world has a god right now this world the god of this world is money the devil so none of our pastors none of our preachers or none of that are in the right mind spiritually to be able to lead a flock which is why every time one of us rise up god allows us to get assassinated or struck down to remind us that our only savior is one one so every time we think we can keep running to people we just setting them up to get shot down puffing their head up thinking they're gonna do something black panthers you understand like dude they can't do nothing they're not going to be able to do anything because it's not time yet it's not time yet okay but anyway uh that's why i don't have a spiritual channel because the longer you do that power corrupts you start getting used to the compliments the women start screaming out stuff like not my pastor and all of that extra stuff so they start forgetting that they came there to learn about your shy and they start just coming there just for you okay on a business channel like this is kind of similar but it's still different i we can all agree that you're mainly here for your business purposes right so <laughs> You know, even when you guys give me compliments here, you'll notice that I keep on passing the praises to who? You'll hear me say all praises to the most high because I'm not going to allow anybody to turn me to an idol. I'm not going to say, yeah, yeah, thank you. Worship me. Yes, I am perfect. Yes, I do know everything. Yes, no, no. Pride comes before the fall. So I don't want to be anybody's leader. I am your brother. I will help you and you helped me it, i was on a call today with the money session group and uh they taught me something with facebook so the moment we stop learning that's the day that we die okay so listen i'm not ready to die you know so i'm always stay a student you understand and we learn from each other i am not above anybody i'm just on a platform right now all of you guys can have a platform some of you guys do have a platform okay and i want to learn from you guys as well so i just wanted to put that out there that's why i don't have a spiritual channel because <clears throat> the spirit is extremely like it's is very delicate it's a delicate situation and if a man leave you astray if he leaves a, if you lead another man astray if you cause him to err or sin their blood is on you so if i teach you guys to sin then and you get in trouble with the most high god then i get in trouble with you because i led you down that pathway you understand i don't want that responsibility sorry <laughs> so when we do do bible study classes on the sabbath day we do them as a family we do them as brothers and sisters i am not a pastor i am not your leader I am not claiming to be a prophet. I'm not claiming any of that stuff. You understand what I'm talking about? I just want to do God's commandments because they lead to health, wealth, and prosperity and eternal life. And I urge that you guys do the same thing. So don't follow me. Follow the footsteps that he left because I'm trying to follow those footsteps as well. You understand what I'm talking about? But anyway, <clears throat> um, 
uh, Gordon says, uh, <laughs> he said, I know I am an ex pastor. People act crazy. <laughs> yes, dude. Like these women straight be leaving their husbands because they pastor be telling them to. But the scripture says, God says, what God put together, let no man put on the sunder. That includes your pastor, your whoremongering pastor that wants all the women to be single in the freaking aisle so that he can probably get a chance to sleep with them. The scripture talks about them creeping uh, uh, back and forth in the houses of silly women. The scripture talks about this stuff. These women be throwing it at them dang on ex-pimp pastors. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Okay. So <laughs> Judah said, we want to be like the world so bad. Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> the meek will inherit the earth. KLC Solution said, woo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, KLC Solution says, we're here to congregate around like-minded people. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That's all it is, y'all. Like, I, I just want like-minded people. I just want a family, whether that's uh, uh, virtually or in person, whatever it has. I don't care about status when it comes to spiritual means. I don't care about status when it comes to relationships. Business, yeah, you might hear me talk a little bit more cocky, but I'm still going to stay humble in many ways because he will show you and, and he'll take you down. Trust me. I know by experience. You understand? But when it comes to like just this life, dude, y'all listen, I'm just I'm just a regular dude, man. And I want to stay a regular dude because when Christ came here, he was a regular dude. He can do some miraculous things, but he made himself of no reputation on purpose just so that we can see that if a regular man in the flesh can overcome the world, then so can we with no excuses. And that's what we know him for is excuses. But guess what? He literally came here on purpose in a fleshly body just to say, look, watch me. Watch my footwork. Watch me do this. And now you go do it. Your turn. Boom. That's why he came. All right. But this time when he comes, he's coming to knock some heads off. All right. So we, be, uh, we better get it together. But uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, so, self-made sex. Uh, self-made said uh, ex pimping. <clears throat> All right, somebody asked, how long are we doing a live? We we about to get off in a couple minutes. I just was in the uh, in the spirit because of the questions, y'all. <clears throat> the meek will inherit the earth. Yes, they will. Um, power in lives. Um, Melissa said, no man can boast according to the word. Yes, Lord. Exactly. I had to get out of the habit of calling people wicked. You know, it's people that do things publicly that you want to call out and just say that they're wicked and stuff. But it's things that we do behind the scene that are extremely wicked as well. And God sees everything. And so does his angels. Did you guys know that we're all assigned an angel that keeps a recording? Did you know that? So when you're behind, when you're by yourself at nighttime or early in the morning by that computer, you're not really by yourself. Imagine that somebody actually just watching and recording what you're doing. He said nothing gets past him. His eyes are brighter, 10,000 10, times brighter than the sun. So nothing escapes him. All right. So uh, <laughs> think about that, y'all. <laughs> All right. Um, he said, love your stuff. I'm earn learning a lot, David. Yay, what's up, man? I appreciate that. Uh, Patty says, yes, with all this opportunity at our fingertips, then we build as a group. We can do so much, especially in the Father's name. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hey, well, I'm, I'm expecting all of y'all to be here this Sabbath on a Saturday. Lord's will, everything happens and we make it there. All right. Um, yeah, this Saturday, you can set another reminder for that, 11 a.m. Eastern. That's what time we do our 
biblical business Sabbath classes where we break down biblical business principles, laws for success according to the scripture. All right. Like normally we want to talk about business on the Sabbath day because it's a day of rest and you're not supposed to uh, work, buy, sell, uh, kindle a fire, go after your own pleasures or do any of that extra stuff because God worked for seven days building the world and then he rested on the Sabbath day. So if he can do it, we can do it too. But it is good to do well on a Sabbath day. So I can teach you scripture that can enhance your spirit and enhance the other parts of your lives as well. I can do that lawfully. All right. So if you guys want to know a lot, uh, you know, how to be backed up, how to have your plans backed up by the most high or not even just have your plans because a man's plans fail. Uh, you know, in God's will will be done. So how to figure out if your plans line up with God's will, because then if it does, then like I told you before, if you follow the laws, then you will have inevitable success. Inevitable. Imagine that. That's why I always say y'all. Y'all might always hear me say God is my lawyer. So this ain't hate speech is great speech because if any man speak let him speak as the oracles of the most high god all right so if you line up what your life is what, what you're doing in your life with his will then it's kind of like a cheat code for success you're going to get success if you line it up next to him because he doesn't fail does he no and it's impossible for him to lie so Anyway, um, Melissa say I may have to catch the replay, but I will definitely be learning. I'll praise the most high. We learn together. Uh, David C said, damn, with the eyeball emojis. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll praise the most high. Well, this definitely ran longer than, than expected. We've been on here since like five, <laughs> 545. We didn't went through uh, business. Then we went through like politics and why I left America and life story background. And then now we just <laughs> we just went into the spiritual. Hey, but I'm a human, man. This is what happens, man. You understand? And I appreciate it. This is how we build a deeper connection, y'all. You know, it can't just always be about business, right? Uh, Gordon said, please, uh, uh, plans need inner direction. His word equips you with that. Yes, Lord. It's like a freaking, uh, 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 it stirs the ship. What is the situation that stirs? I can't even think of it. But anyway, it, it's, it's going to, he said, let all your ways, you know what I'm saying, be established. And you have to lean not on your own understanding. You lean on him for everything. And he will direct your paths with an S. Everybody thinks that that's just talking about your path to the kingdom. He said paths with an S. That means your entire life. You're supposed to go to him for everything. Not a counselor, not a therapist, not a guru. You need to run everything by him first. Okay. And that's what I do. When I think of a program to come out with, I had a program, believe it or not, uh, called own O fans celebrity marketing. All right. I was trying to be like the, the, uh, underground railroad for, for the O fans women. I'm saying O fans because like they was trying to sue me and stuff, <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about? That platform platform that leverages, uh, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, so I was coming out with a course called O fans celebrity, uh, marketing course. But then I canceled it because it was afflicting my spirit. Because even though I was trying to get women to see their worth for more than their body, I was trying to basically in the in the course, I teach them to discover their other assets about themselves and leverage that to make money on O fans. And it was super difficult because 
most of these women are gone in their head and they just only want to do it the easy way. Hey, I got a body, so I'm finna do this. But I was trying to teach them to discover their good skills of cooking and clothing and design and all of these other things. But it it was even though I made a a, a, a positive course, it was still in me because Deep down, I knew that if I released that information, most of them was going to use it for bad instead of good. Most of them weren't going to like try to promote the other good things about them. They were going to use those genius marketing tactics that I put in there to put more filth out into the world. And we already got enough. So when I leaned to him for that, I destroyed that course. I got rid of it. It would have made so much money. And that's why he said you can't serve two masters. You're going to either serve the devil or you're going to serve him. Because if I had to release that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But anyway, guys. <laughs> ah, man, uh, I appreciate you guys riding along without Ice Cube and, and Kevin Hart bars. All right. I appreciate you guys riding along. I had fun today. I'm happy it didn't skip and stutter and freeze up like it usually do. So maybe I just need to stay off camera until I can get a deeper freaking connection somewhere in Panama. And uh, and we'll, we'll still be able to have fun and I'll still be able to teach you guys. All right. So be here tomorrow, Lars Will, at 5 p.m. Eastern. I hope y'all set y'all alarms for that. I'm going to go ahead and ride out now. Love you guys. Shalom.